Good morning, everybody. I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Mike Delicio. And I'm Roy Kennedy. Welcome back to the final day of the Winter Spectacular, Ooh, after which we will rip Van Winkle to sleep <laughs> through Grit. No, there's, there's still more stuff. A lot we still got do. videos while well, videos going up next week, although fewer videos. But this is it. Now, today is a top 10 list day. We have a lot of top 10s. I believe yes. 10 different lists are happening today. We're also going to be playing two games here in the studio. Actually, we're playing three games today. We're going to be playing Etherfields, which you can see is already set up here. Um, Z and Amanda will be playing Trekking the World at noon. And then at 3 o'clock, we'll be playing Fossilus. So, and then again, we got other things coming today, including the very final thing will be the best moments from the Dice Tower. That's later on today. Um, so, a couple things we want to mention. There's going to be a contest for this game, so stay tuned. We'll talk about that in a bit. Right now, the People's Choice Top 100 Games of All Time. We do the Top 100 Games of All Time. Well, I would say we do it in January each year. We did it in January this year, so yeah. we'll do it January next year, about. Um, and we want to hear what your favorite games are. So, you can go vote on that. You can vote for up to 20 of them. Go to dicetower.com. Go to the Top 10 slot. You can pick on Vote Top 100. You have to log in, but whatever. I never use your email address for anything else. Um, you can, when you vote for them, you want to put your favorite one as number one. I thought that would be obvious, but yeah. Yeah. it's not always. Okay, no. so that gets more weight than your number 20 does. So you right. can go in there and vote for them. The voice of the people must be recorded and must be heard, Tom. You're not the voice of the people The this voice year. of the people must <laughs> be heard. You are the voice of Mike. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. So... Uh, we'll be going over that, but we want you to start voting on that now. All right, so Ether Fields is going to happen soon. But before then, we got a few top 10 lists, so we're going to start with those right now. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell and welcome back to our Winter Spectacular. As we wind down today though, we still have top 10 lists to talk about. And right now I wanna talk about something that's always near and dear to my heart. And that is top 10 interesting or well implemented themes. I like games that have a cool theme to them. We certainly have a gazillion zombie games. We have a gazillion trading in the Mediterranean games, generic fantasy, you know, go up in space, whatever it might be. But these games either have something unique about them theme wise, or they did the theme in a really good way. So let's get started here with number 10, and that is Tasty Humans. <laughs> this is a game in which you are a giant monster, whether it's a dragon or an ogre and stuff, and you, uh, humans are coming out to fight you, and then you eat them, and they go in your stomach. Now, it's not as gross as it sounds. It just shows pieces of armor, and it's kind of a fill your stomach as fast as you can with the different pieces, and you get points for having helmets next to other helmets. It's a decent game. Uh, but I thought the theme was funny. It's done in a very silly way. Um, so that's Tasty Humans, also a great name for a game. Number nine is a game I found a bit disappointing in the actual game play. There's some problems with it. It's too long, but the theming of it's fantastic, and that's Fuji Koro. Now, Fuji Koro is a, uh, a dungeon crawl. But it's a dungeon crawl, it's not done in your generic fantasy. It's a dungeon crawl done with uh, dragons from the Far East, and they're really cool looking dragons. And it also has a Minecraft edition, where you build your weapons out of cubes, and you can build the different cubes in your weapon, determine how good that weapon is. These are two amazing concepts with a good production. It's unfortunate the game does not rise to the levels of these ideas, but I gotta give them credit for these ideas. The, the theming of the game with these dragons themselves are really cool, but then also the idea of the cubes making up your weapons I like a lot. This would have been number one had the game been fantastic, but even without all that, I still think it's a really neat idea. Number eight is The Loop. Now The Loop takes the concept that we've all loved, the Groundhog Day concept, and brings it into a board game. Now that's not the first time it's been done, other games have done it, but this does it in a competitive way where you're moving around the board and 
you get to take an action, but then you can kind of take that action again. Take Pick a card back up in your hand. Play that card again if you meet the right circumstances. And that's kind of a fascinating idea to this game. It's a cooperative game. You're all working together, trying to stop monsters. It has a unique, cool art theme to it. Uh, but I like the theming of it itself. It felt different than most sci-fi games that are out there. Number seven is the Alpha. This is a simple family game, but one I really liked because it's about you running a pack of wolves. That's just a cool idea. It's a simple game, and you're sending these wolves out to attack different uh, animals. Uh, go out and get the buffalo. Go out and get the, you know, the, the rabbits. Some animals are more valuable than others, but you work together or against other packs. Uh, you can even go raid the farmer's uh, animals. Of course, the farmer might shoot your wolf. And I like this concept. It's a simple area control game for families with a lot of luck involved, but I like the theming of it. It just neat the alpha. Number six is the Princess Bride adventure book game. Now, I think Princess Bride is one of the greatest movies of all time. I love it. So I would had high expectations to this game. It's not the first Princess Bride game, but I would posit it's the first good one. This is a storybook game where you're playing through different pages of a book, a cooperative game. It's not a particularly difficult cooperative game, but it is a fun one as you're working together to read the story to the, the kid before the kid gets bored and stops you from reading the story. And so each page has a different thing that you need to do. You might need to make the two people fall in love. You need to might have your, your ship escape the ship of the men in black. Um, you need to storm the castle, have fun doing so. And the artwork is great, the story works well. It's a little linear, but I like it a lot and I thought it brings the movie to a board game. Number five is Godzilla Tokyo Clash. Uh, Godzilla Tokyo Clash is Godzilla and it's Godzilla done right. Just like Princess Bride, I believe there's a lot of Godzilla games out there that just don't do a good job at bringing that. Here you are Godzilla or King Ghidorah or one of these like, giant cockroach, I don't know the names of all the monsters, and you're marching around and just beating the snot out of each other. It's fun. You blow up buildings, you throw tanks at each other, you do all kinds of crazy stuff, but it's also very simple. That's what Godzilla should be, that's what this game does, and it does so really well. Number four is Red Outpost. Red Outpost has a unique theme to it in that you are a bunch of communists in the height of communism from Russia who got a spaceship and go and settle another planet. And then you farm it and do stuff. Okay, well, you know, the farming thing, how's that different? Well, it's done so in a communal way to some degree. All the resources you get are owned by everybody. Workers' happiness goes up or down based on how much they have to work. You can force someone to work in a forced labor camp. This game doesn't make communism look amazing, but it takes the mechanisms of that and puts them in a board game in a way that I didn't expect it to be there. It, does, it, it, it's unique. it doesn't necessarily look unique, although it has amazing artwork, but it really does feel that way. So that's Red Outpost. Number three is Mariposas. Butterflies. Lots of eyes were on this game. The, the next big game from Elizabeth Hargrave, who brought us Wingspan about birds. Now we have Mariposas, which is butterflies. But this game takes the butterflies, and you start from Mexico, and they migrate up. And the farther north you go, the more points you can get. But then you get back down to Mexico, and you get points that way by coming back. I think it does the migration patterns of butterflies in a really well done way. I learned about butterflies playing this game. Of course, having a sheet of facts about butterflies in the rule book doesn't hurt. But the concept of how the butterflies fly around, butterflies die off, it's, it's, it's really well done. It's a neat game and it feels different than many games that are out there. Mariposas, Elizabeth Hargrave strikes again. Number two is a game I did not expect that I would be a big fan of, and that's Pan Am. Now. The, the Funko design team, they make all kinds of thematic games from Funko Verse to the Godzilla game. Pan Am is about the airline, Pan Am, and it's spread across the world. And you are a rival airplane company who is eventually going to sell out the Pan Am probably, and you want to buy shares in this new Pan Am. It's a really good strategy game, but this theme works. I like the idea of this one airline spreading across the world, and you are other airlines, and eventually they're going to buy you out, and you're like, well, yes, please, where's my check? 
That's a cool concept, and I think this game does so in a cool, neat way. I wasn't expecting to like this game as much as I did. And my number one interesting theme of 2020 is Chronicles of Crime 1400. In my review of Chronicles of Crime 1400, I said that the 1400s is an era I'm not particularly interested in. And yet, they still brought it to life. Chronicles of Crime, this is a sequel to Chronicles of Crime, the modern one, is just one of my favorite games. To play with an app and find a, a criminal story does well, but when you play this game, it brings that theme to life. It doesn't help hurt that there's music and sound effects in the background and all the different intrigue and this person is having an affair with that person and that person's the brother of that person and oh, I did not know that. I love how this brings everything to life and so that is my favorite thematic game of 2020. And I could have gone on and on and on and in fact there's some games that aren't on this list that are very thematic that are on my top 10 of all time so you can go check that out for some more great games. Just Really neat stuff, so there you have it. What are some games that you thought brought new, interesting themes or really brought their themes to life? Let me know in the comments. Until then, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching The Winter Spectacular on The Dice Tower. So here I'm going with my top 10 games of 2020. Now, since this is coming up on the holiday season, I'll have to admit that I've been a little bit naughty when it comes to this list because, unfortunately, I haven't played most of the games on my list. I've only played two, actually, because I'm not some big-time reviewer like these guys at the Dice Tower. They get all the good games. But uh, anyway... These are some of the ones I want to play. So let's go ahead and get into it. At number 10, One Small Step. Now, again, I was born in 1963. So as a six-year-old kid, watching the guys land on the moon, come on. Everybody wanted to be an astronaut. That was fantastic. So it has a deep personal connection to me throughout all my life. And to and the way this game is, the way it's played, its mechanics, from what I've read, I think it's a game that's right up my alley and I definitely will like. So I'm definitely looking forward to this game. Number nine is going to be a game just from the designers, Kramer and Kiesling. It's a dynamic duo. And that is Paris. So, again, from the reviews I've seen, especially from the people here at the Dice Tower as well, um, Paris is a fantastic game, right up my alley. And, again, you can't argue the fact what Kramer and Kiesling put out if you're a fan of those type of Euro games. So this is definitely a game I'm looking forward to playing. Number eight. Now, this has gotten rave reviews all across the board. That is Dune Imperium. There has been even talk of this winning a lot of awards and being game of the year. So strictly because of that, because of the hype, because of how good a game people say it is, I'm really looking forward to getting this to the table, Dune Imperium. So we're at number seven. This is the first game on the list that I've actually played. Isle of Cats. Now, this is a game that is very light. It's a polyomino game, trying to get the cats on the boats and all that kind of stuff. But the reason I really enjoy it is because my wife loves it. We've played a lot at two players, and it's a great two-player game. It can play at any count, the two, three, or four, and it's got the, um, I forgot what it's called, Isle of Cat, uh, whatever, um, expansion, uh, Late Arrivals or something like that, for uh, five and six players. Uh, I haven't played those, but two, three, and four I have, and it's great. It's a really good game, a lot of fun, and uh, I've just enjoyed playing Isle of Cats. Number six. Now, again, as I said before with the designer names, also with companies, this company has been putting out some really, really good games, and because of that alone, 
I am really looking forward to this game. Also, all but the reviews have been good as well. And that is Curious Cargo, Capstone Games. Uh, their games are just fantastic. They're right up my alley, the kind of games I like. So they have a very good catalog. And from what I've heard about Curious Cargo, it's pretty crunchy. Uh, it's a lot of work. It's pretty hard. And I'm really intrigued by it and looking forward to playing this game. Number five, again from a designer, although this is a single designer, not a team like Kramer and Kiesling, Pulsar 2849, also one of my favorite games, really, Underwater Cities, Vladimir Suchi, yes, Praga Kaput Regni. Again, strictly because of Vladimir Suchi, I am extremely excited about this game. I love playing Pulsar 2849. Underwater Cities is one of my favorite games, so I'm really looking forward to another game from this designer. At number four, this is probably a lot higher than other people's lists, but that is Pandemic Legacy Season Zero. Now, I've only played Legacy Season 1 and had an absolutely fantastic time. We binged it. Uh, it was at the Gathering in 2019. And, uh, yeah, because we didn't have it this year. <laughs> um, and we played it all in, uh, like, five days or something. We uh, but, but binged it, got it in, and knocked it out. Uh, great experience, a lot of fun. And from all the reviews I've seen and what I've heard is Season 0 is the best out of all three. So I'm really looking forward to getting that to the table. At number three, the second game on the list that I've actually played. That is The Crew. Again, Crew might be a lot higher on some a lot of other people's lists. This trick-taking game, fully cooperative, it's just fantastic. I don't know how you anybody could say not, anything bad about this game. And I've also already heard there's... Uh, either a new game or an expansion coming out. So I'm real excited about that. Unfortunately, I don't get to play this as much as I like to. My wife is not a cooperative game player at all. And uh, so I can't get her to play it. But I love trick-taking games. Bridge, um, Hearts. Yeah, those are... So I, anyway, The Crew is number three for me. Number two, because its predecessor is one of my favorite games of all time, probably one of my most played games every year because it's it's quick, we like it, we all know the rules, we just put it out, we play, knock it out, which is Castles of Burgundy. So, of course, Castles of Tuscany. I'm real excited to try it. Although, the reviews I've seen and read and heard haven't said that it surpasses Castles of Burgundy, but they say it's a good, solid game. So I'm not going into it looking to find something better than Castles of Burgundy. But because of my affinity for Castles of Burgundy, I am really looking forward to playing Castles of Tuscany. Which brings us to my number one. Oh, can you see that? Number one game. Here we go. Of 2020 that I'm looking forward to playing. This designer is... In my top three designers, and uh, Agricola is one of my absolutely favorite games of all time, Hallertau. So, Haller, I hope I'm saying that right. Anyway, that's what it looks like. Uh, I've heard it's a big box game, kind of like Caverna. There's my cat making an appearance. Um, but I am so excited to get that to the table because I pretty much like every single one of Uva Rosenberg's games. So I really want to get this to the table and try that out. So hopefully I will get to play that first before I get to the other ones on the list because Hallertau is, over there, I'm sorry, my number one game of 2020 that I'm looking forward to playing. Well, anyway, folks, thank you so much for watching the list. And as you can hear, my cat's joining us back there. I hope you're all safe. I hope you all have made the best of the rest of 2020 and all of us are going to have a much better 2021.
Hey everyone, I'm Steven. And I'm Megan, and we're the Board Game Weekenders. And these are our top 10 games of 2020. Our number 10 game is Mary Posas. In this game, you're going to be moving your monarch butterflies from Mexico up through North America, collecting flower tokens as you go, reproducing your butterflies, landing on the cities to collect these way station tokens. Your goal each season is also to meet the scoring requirement to score you points based upon where you're on on the map. At the end of the game, your goal is to get as many butterflies as you can back down to Mexico to score you the maximum amount of points. Yeah, this game has worked really well for us because I think it's easy to pick up because you only have two cards to pick on your turn. You just pick one and play. It's easy. Um, it's fun that each game there's different goals for each of the seasons. So you're trying to get your butterflies in different positions and just kind of puzzling out how to best um, allocate them to get you the maximum number of points. Um, so this one has been a good one. Again, that's our number 10 game, Mary Posas. Our number 9 game of 2020 is Coatl. In Coatl, you're trying to build the best feathered snake to please the Aztec gods. You'll be drafting pieces from this board and then building a Coatl. Using prophecy cards, you're trying to score. So you might need a green piece next to a black piece to try to get a maximum number of points. There are also temple cards to which you're also trying to kind of help you score by having, again, your pieces in certain orientations. We really like this game because it's very simple. The pieces are nice and chunky. Uh, mm -hmm. they, they fit together real nicely. They're just flat out fun to build. Um, and it, it's really interesting to get these um, scoring cards where you have to match this certain pattern and, and try to, it's very thinky, but very simple at the same time. Mm -hmm. Kind of feels like a Zool to some degree yeah. to me. Yeah. Like that kind of level weight and that's good for a nice half hour game. Yeah. Our number eight game is Fossilus. In this game, you're moving your paleontologist around an excavation site, digging tiles to get you resources that allow you to buy tools and supplies to help you on your journey. Um, you're also going to be extracting dinosaur bones that you will be revealing when you take off the tiles when you dig them. Uh, you can then use these bones to claim a dinosaur. So each dinosaur has specific bones assigned to them you can either fully complete a dinosaur or halfway complete a dinosaur for points. And then they give you a bunch of different end game scoring at the end of the game. Yeah, I mean, it's not surprising. And the most fun part about this is actually using the <laughs> tweezers to get the bones. It seems ridiculous, but it's just really fun and clever to peek in there and see. It's always a surprise you when you reveal one and you're really looking for a yeah. certain bone. And, and sometimes it's actually kind of hard to find a certain one. And this tray is really well engineered. How it slides around is like a whole game in of itself. Um, besides that, I also really like um, that you can acquire these special kind of powers as well throughout the game that give you uh, kind of a different ability that the other players don't have. Mm -hmm. And the artwork work and just like the look of everything is good and this is just kind of a solid you know 45 yeah. minute to an hour game it's just flat out fun <laughs> our number seven game of 2020 is boomerang in boomerang it's a drafting game where you'll have a hand of cards and you're going to pass them and take one to visit different tourist sites see different animals and collect things along your journey in one of the different regions of whichever again boomerang version you pick um, and then you'll be marking down at the end of the round each of the locations you visit to get points, each of, again, the different uh, attractions and places that you visited um, to try to get the highest score that you possibly can throughout the game. I love this game because it's kind of a twist on the classic roll and rights. You're no longer rolling, you're, you know, drafting cards, which is a very interesting concept. Um, the artwork is amazing. I love that there's three different variations. Um, you know, so each game has about half the rules are the same, mm -hmm. half are different. So it's easy to pick up and learn, especially if you're new at it or, but it also adds something different to yeah. do to make it a little bit more I like, interesting. I like too how each card you're kind of thinking about a couple different things. It's not just one thing on the card. Yeah. It's like four different things that you're right. kind of debating about what to pick it for. Right. So it's And it's cool. small, easy yeah. to pack and Portable take along sure. places. It's great. Yep. Our number six game is Gods Love Dinosaurs. In this game, you're building an ecosystem full of a sustainable food chain of predators and prey. On your turn, you select a terrain tile and add it to your ecosystem. You then get the matching animal meeple. 
Then once a column is cleared of tiles, that certain animal triggers and they each do different things. The prey multiply, the predators eat the prey. Occasionally the dinosaur is triggered in which he tromps around and eats all the animals as many as he can. Ideally you want him to eat the predators in order to score you eggs, which are points. This game's really fun because there's a lot of tension over like what tile people are going to pick because you really might need a specific predator or prey or you might want just that column to activate so you can like have a lot more prey and expand um, and also it's kind of also puzzling out where you want your dinosaur to move. It's kind of like a puzzly movement game combined with that as well. Um, it's also easy to teach. It seems like everyone mm -hmm. we teach it to it kind of just picks up on it real quick and it's just kind of an enjoyable game for everyone that we've found. So this has been another good one. Our number five of 2020 is Cloud City. In this game, you're an architect trying to city plan to get the most city council votes by the end of the game, or victory points. Um, on your turn, you're selecting a tile from your hand. You're going to lay it down in your city, and then you're going to place those corresponding buildings to place links that have point values on it that will score you points at the end of the game. There's also a variant where you can have a certain objective that can also get you some extra points as you're kind of building throughout the game. This game is great in its um, simplicity, but it's also almost a dexterity game. It's really hard to place yeah, these, really especially is. when you're placing like underneath things. Mm -hmm. I've knocked it over many a times, um, but it's very simple, puzzly. Um, you know, this variant adds, you know, a little bit more of like a gamer aspect mm -hmm. to it, but taking it away, it's a very good family game that you could pretty much teach to anybody who has an interest in playing a game. Yeah. It seems short and light, but also there's planning involved. Like yeah. you can plan, I'm going to build this browning building here, and then this mm -hmm. ramp's going to go underneath that one. Yeah. And like, it, it's a little, it's very puzzling. It's very like abstract said. thinking, yeah. actually. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a 3D spatial, interesting way you have to look at it. Mm-hmm. Our number four game is Dwellings of Eldervale. In this game, you'll be exploring the realms of Eldervale. On your turn, you're placing out one of your workers onto a realm and doing the action on the tile. This could consist of getting resources, buying these adventure cards, fighting the monsters, fighting your opponent, or building out dwellings uh, that will get you points at the end of the game. Uh, building dwellings lets you move up on the elemental scoring track, which then corresponds to your end game points. You get points corresponding to where you are in the different elements where you have dwellings and you have accumulated adventure cards for. Yeah, it seems like this game should be like super complicated, but it's really not when you boil it yeah. down. Like you're just putting a worker out. And one thing I really like about this game is when you uh, return all of your workers to your pool, you have these special cards that, that you can then assign them to to get extra things, even on those turns when you're pulling your workers back. So it's kind of a neat twist on worker placement that way. Also, I like that each of the factions has different abilities, so it feels a little bit different for each one that you're using. You play a little bit differently. And then there are these spell cards, which have special actions during the game some of these are like end game scoring things that are like secret objectives and i always kind of like when those things are thrown in the games combined with the amazing components and game trays just right. make this like a really cool package Agreed. so this is uh, again just another great one that we found all right our number three game of 2020 is whistle mountain in whistle mountain you'll be developing the rocky mountains new technologies building up in this valley with scaffolding machines by placing out your airships and blimps onto the outside of the board to these docks to get new machines and scaffolding and upgrades that give you abilities on your turn. And then you will also be placing your airship onto the board to get resources that you're next to to activate machines that you're next to with your airships. So it's very uh, puzzly in nature. And then at the end of the game, you're trying to make sure that your workers are safe uh, and not falling into the whirlpool with the rising water cup coming. This game is just super unique. Um, it looks really overwhelming at first. There's a lot of different components, but it's actually fairly simple. Um, so basically building the scaffolding, you can get different worker placements, which are the actual machines. So it really mm -hmm. changes it up game to game how you're playing. Um, and then this water aspect is very interesting where um, you know, worker placement that you might have placed out at the beginning of the game that you've been using a lot will eventually get covered mm -hmm. up and no longer be available. And each game you get a starting player uh, ability, which really kind of leads you in and gives you something extra you can do over your opponent, which is really interesting. And these upgrades that you can get, um, that you can choose which ones you'd like to get you by them, 
um, really help di diversify your game and, and make it different than what your partner is playing. Yeah, really the strength here is just the sheer variety. From game to game, you're just going to see a bunch of different things. So it's just kind of this ever-evolving puzzle of a game. Our number two of 2020 is My City. In My City, this is a tile placement game where you're going to be flipping over a card and then placing that specific building into your city. The interesting thing about My City is this game is a legacy game where there are eight chapters, each with three episodes in them, kind of ever evolving or changing the gameplay as you go. Now what's also interesting is there's a mode where that you can play that is not legacy so you can just keep playing it over and over and over again. I really like this game. I love the polyomino Tetrisy tiling games mm -hmm. as they are but I really like the legacy game since we can play together and it's ever growing. Mm -hmm. But I love that since we have fallen in love with it playing the legacy game that when we're done with it, we can just go ahead and play the base yeah. game and it'll forever be part of our repertoire that we can always pull out and play quickly. Yeah. The thing I like about this one is it's like a bite-sized legacy game. Mm -hmm. Like I don't have to remember 80 zillion rules. It's just like yeah. one extra thing each yep. kind of chapter, which makes it kind of nice and digestible, yeah. I yeah. guess you could say. And our number one game of 2020 is Calico. And I promise it's not just because our cat looks exactly like the one on the cover. Calico is this wonderful game where you are trying to build the best quilt to attract the cats to come lay on your quilt. So it's tiling where basically you have a hand of two tiles where on your turn all you do is just place a tile onto your quilt and then pick up another one from the three face up and then replenish. Uh, the way you score is that you are trying to fulfill these scoring tiles. So mm -hmm. the A, B, C, D refers to patterns. And that also refers to the colors surrounding them as well as the pattern on the actual tile. Uh, the other way you can score is by attracting the cats. So for instance, Tidbit wants to have four of the striped all touching one another. The other way is you can get buttons by getting three of the same color touching each other in which you would get a colored button. Yep, so we really like, this is by far the game we played yeah. the most this year. It's not even close. Um, that's partly I think because of the time length and it's just so replayable. There's just something so pleasant about it and puzzly. Yeah. Um, and it's just, it just, it just keeps coming back to the table yeah. for whatever reason. Um, it's also one that's easy to teach people to. Right. I mean, and you have two tiles, you play one yeah. and putting those down makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So. And theme is on point <laughs> since we have a orange cat that looks exactly like the cat on the box of Calico. <laughs> okay, everyone. So those are our top 10 games of 2020. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye. And we are back. All right, folks. In case you've forgotten, I'm Tom Vassell. I am Mike Delicio. And I'm Roy Kennedy. All right. So after those very nice top ten lists, except the first one was a piece of trash, um, <laughs> uh, we're going to be playing uh, Ether Fields here. Now, I'm going to give several caveats here before we start. The first one's the most important one. Spoilers. Yeah. Literally. If you don't want to know anything about Ether Fields, Turn off the video now. Here's another spoiler. Look, we have see a the contest views. for this game. <gasps> okay, well, let me finish the spoiler part. Oh, okay, all right. All right. If but you don't I, want spoilers, not allowed to be in the contest. That's well, true. Well. That's true. <laughs> we should do the contest. You're right. Before <laughs> the spoilers. All right, hang on. Okay. So we have uh, two games of this, Ooh, which is out wow. now, so you can get it. Mm -hmm. awesome. uh, worldwide. And you need to email us at contest at dicetower.com. And in the subject line... Unlike all our other ones, this one's just Dreamer. Oh, okay. D R E A M E R. Dreamer. They call me a dreamer. <laughs> all right. And then you 
will get a copy sent to you anywhere. Put your address in the body. So if email us at contest. You have, to, you have to win the contest. You, you can't just email us and we'll get the We'll randomly pick two winners <laughs> at live at dicetower.com slash contests. Okay. Good luck, everybody. Oh, the Shuppo said, huge congrats to Roy, Kenny, and anyone else behind the camera that has helped produce and broadcast the Winter Spectacular. You have all done a great job. And that is true. Bravo. Roy and In front Mike, of the camera? <laughs> Roy and Mike behind the scenes have put together all this stuff. I did nothing. Except that's not true. lies. I mean, well, no, but no, I came up with the, uh, the many, schedule. Many top ten. Of <laughs> yes. Oh, schedule. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the main Michael like, schedule. Put Tom. together the schedule. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> you know, the scheduling is a lot more work than people think. No, though. that's what I'm saying. I yeah. understand. And it that's why I need you to do it as well. Yes. Okay. Spoilers. Yes. Spoilers. Okay. Now, Ooh. here's the thing. Etherfields is a really long game. Yes. It comes with many, many, many different dreams, they're called. And in between those dreams, there's these little dreams called slumbers. We're not showing you a little dream. We're showing you a big dream today, sort of. It's not that big, actually. Mm -hmm. It's just one of the dreams. So you're only being spoiled in a very small part of the game. And the chance of us finding everything in this dream is very small anyway. Very okay? much so, yeah. So that's caveat number one, spoilers. Nope, views went up. No, <gasps> can't help it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Secondly... There's a lot of rules in ether fields. Yes. Let me tell you the chance, the percentage chance of us getting a rule wrong. 100. <laughs> 100. Okay. The chance of us getting two rules wrong is still 100. 100. <laughs> We're going to make rules mistakes. We apologize. Yeah. We've been playing this. There's just a lot going on. We think we, it's also been a month or so since I played it last. Mm. We've gone over it. Me and Mike. Mike's played it. Basically, it's all on Mike. It's I all think on I think we should let Mike go first, and he should find a secret you, tunnel the very first turn that lets him go to the last space we need to go to. This is an experiential <laughs> game, and I think that if you feel like you've had a great experience, if you get a rule a little bit wrong here or there, mm -hmm. and you're still having a great time, that's what's important to me. Got yep. it. And if you do see us make a rules mistake, yeah. I have no problem with let you us correcting know. us in the chat. We'll try to fix them as much as we can. Right. But hopefully, we will give you enough information that you can see how the game works. Right, get a feel for it. And, and this really will not spoil, I think, your enjoyment of the game to go through each and every one. We have actually not played this scenario before. No. This is, or you haven't. I, I have not played I this I haven't either. So this is just it. one um, that we go through. So this is the trickiest part here. Yeah. This Each dream is part of a much larger thing. Um, it, it's part of a big campaign. Right. So in this campaign... Dreams are not cut and dry in a sense that right. I have a deck of cards. I'm, I might be halfway through that deck when I go into a dream. Right. So that being said, that is how we're going into this dream. We're going in fresh in a sense. I've given all of us a few cards in our deck. My deck is actually the deck that I'm using in there. So I have some cards called Flaws, which are ridiculously horrible things. <laughs> um, because just that's just how things individual. work. Yes. Uh, but... It, it's not going to be perfect because right. we might just drag into a dream. We sure. might have done whatever. We're going into this fresh. So and, and Roy and I are basically playing with our starter decks with a couple of extra influence. I threw in a couple in. extra cards just to yeah. make things. Yeah. So we might get our butts kicked. I yeah, don't know. Yeah. We also have Sailor's some goes. items. We have some masks. So we're going to show you all that going through. Have I made any rules mistakes talking about... <laughs> <laughs> Tom, do you feel like Quinn's, the rules make the game unplayable? I wouldn't be playing it no, then. No, I won't argue that the game is a, a tough one to get into. It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's just a lot going on. You might want to mention that uh, search deck there up in our, in, our, oh, yeah. in our storage area. Oh, that's true. All right, so let's jump to the board here. Yeah, no, look, I, I know that... Uh, Quinn's from Shut Up and Sit Down gave this game a not as stellar review, but we, he and I have disagreed on games a lot. We did mm. a whole video on the subject. This is true. So... That I don't watch. This has never happened that I can remember where I have said I like the game or dislike the game. Right. Watch someone else's review and said and changed your mind. Huh? huh. I was yeah. wrong. It's opinion, man. <laughs> right. That's what it is. <clears throat> and I, I tend to love grandiose kickstarters. That's just me. Yeah. So. It's gonna. Not every game is for everybody. Now, is there a lot of stuff going on on the board? There is. You bet you Here's the good Ooh. part. We're only using this part. Right. <laughs> yep. The part well, that Mike can't see, that's the part we're playing on right over I, there. I can zoom it into this that. This is an overworld map. Yeah. Um, and, again, Dream world, dreamscape. Yeah, yeah, this is dream world. Technically, this is spoiler issue <laughs> too. Okay, yeah, this yeah. is what I've discovered. Um, but there's more here that could be discovered, too. It's not that big of a deal. It's not like there's... Uber things on here or right. what have you. Um, so we are we have our party that goes around the map and you this do different things. This is where things. you do the slumbers. Yeah, and, and so yeah. we're here, I think. Uh, you we're, we're somewhere on this board yeah, here. I don't like know where it is. Okay. 
I don't know. We're somewhere on this board. <laughs> gotcha. And then here in the dream. Yes. The dream is investigation in the foggy docks. We don't have this. Foggy up, do docks. Yeah, it should work. Do you want to put this over there, or do you want to keep that? Uh... What is it? Well, we can show this. This is the starting this one anyway. This is the starting tile, yeah. I'm yeah, so this is the, I mean, zooming in. That's the overworld maps. You follow these arrows, and when you go to some of the question marks there, you'll draw a fate card and something will happen. When you go to the exclamation point, you will go to a slumber, slumber. possibly, which is a, like a mini dream. Some spots give you keys, Ooh, keys, and you need to get a certain number of keys so that you can go into What's the swirly green a dream. Thing? The swirly green thing is a dream gate portal, oh, right? dream gate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that lets you jump around the board. There's also arrows. You have to follow the arrows, mm -hmm. but you can also take shortcuts. When you take a shortcut, that's that thin arrow. Something bad will happen. Like yeah. in uh -oh. this one, you'll flip or seal a card. Not a huge deal, but... right. Sometimes you can, you're just trying to move around the map. Influence markets, things like where you can get new items, or not oh. influence markets, but items and things like that. Yeah. Nice. And we have a huge ant that is taking over our. Where did board. that ant come from? I don't know, but it's I think it came dream. from the dream. I'm. This dream is about giant ants. <laughs> I shall remove the insect. I, I tried to fling it with with wow. much force, but it didn't. Why work. was there a giant ant on the board? Look, like, I'm telling you, they came from the portal. But normally here. we have like the, the, the in Florida, we have these little mini black ants that. Yeah, yeah you don't see those very place. often. Yeah, yeah. Huh. I am a little nervous now. If I see a big cockroach come right. out, Thanks, then a little snake, a snake. We're in the dream. It's <laughs> happening. <laughs> yeah, and he's going to run the through with a giant ant mask on. I'm like, no. There were some great movies back in the 50s of those big ant. I can't remember which one. Those were not great. Oh, oh they were fantastic. <laughs> Great is a subjective term. Oh, come on. Someone said don't. That's Steph Ant film. All right. <laughs> Steph Ant film. <laughs> Steph Ant film. So we, That's awful. <laughs> I'm going to spend half this game, I think, just explaining it. Right. We have our own little promo deck that we're using. That's, yeah. uh, if you back their Kickstarter, that stuff's going shipping right now, being sent to different people. Um, the promo deck, we may or may not use it, but you can use it in different games. Oh, we're going to use We it. have some items. We're In this particular one, we're taking a flashlight, some spring perfumes. Yeah, look. Hey. <laughs> and a strategic plan. Right. Um, Avoid ants. That's our strategic plan right now. Yeah. We'll go with that. So we're going to do a lot of this teach by playing to some degree. Um, actually, what I'd like to do here briefly, let's move the board slightly this direction so Mike's character can get on screen. Actually, hmm. you, you might, I can, might I can do this. I mean, eh, it's pretty close. Yeah, drag your we card. Can, we can I do, do this. So I'm at, we're teeny not bit. playing on the dreamscape. I could do that. I can just put it on top of there. All right. Token, 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 token. Token, token, token. Is that good enough? Yeah, that's good enough. All right. Look. So, here, here there be spoilers. So this says, investigation in the foggy docks. Okay, that's what this is. We need to set up, and setting up lets us do a few things. But we have no damage, nothing. We are really on fire. Yeah. You know when it comes to this. Keep that in mind when we get wrecked. Um, <laughs> we take there, there's a couple secret cards here. These are interesting. Mm -hmm. So I've never played this before. These say we can flip it when we can see both elements. Well, we can see one element on each card. So actually, it's interesting here. There's a ship here that yeah. says ISS Vanguard. Hmm. I wonder what that can. Be. I wonder what that's alluding to. We did not pick this for that reason. Yeah, yeah. But ISS Vanguard launching soon near you. Yeah. <laughs> the game found that's their you. next their next one. Although this is a, a wooden ship. Yeah. And we also can see, where did you, you found what was that? This? this is like some sort you of, found it, over there. it almost looks like some sort of engine sort of thing, but it's actually over here beside where this bad guy is. So we need to find up a, against the wall. a fan, and we need to find this 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 rock. It looks like a fan or like yeah. a rotor I'm motor leaving that thing. to you, because I, I, I'm not going to be able to see that. Oh, the rock. I didn't look for the rock. Oh, that can Vanguard. Vanguard's right here. We just right. don't see the rock. But I'm oh. assuming we'll find this stuff as time goes by. I mean, that looks like a cobblestone. There's like a million of them around. No, that's going to look just like that. Okay, so here's the deal. This dude here is the bad guy. He is the warden. Yeah. Um, well, you know what? I'm just going to read the opening script here. Let's do it. 766. Dun, 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 dun. Investigation in the foggy docks. Mm. You die. Go to the next game. <laughs> <laughs> a giant volcano explodes. Sounds about right. 
Dripping rain, sounds and lights of the distant endless city. Cobblestone is slick with rainwater. Brick buildings look dilapidated and abandoned. The drizzle thins out the surrounding mist. We are in the foggy docks with its many warehouses, ships, and narrow alleys. On a rainy night, a single lantern lights up the gloom, calling us. I'm out. <laughs> Anyway, uh -huh. we have magnifying glasses and hands and capes to protect us from the rain. Are we mm. Sherlock? Sure <laughs> um, we're looking around. Every detail seems to be significant and tells a story. The investigation is ongoing. Part of it is about the case of, well, it's just about the case. Mm -hmm. In addition to the investigation, we also have our own business to do here. Before we arrived in this world, we had previously sent a package addressed to ourselves. It must have been right here at the port. If everything went according to plan, the package should be waiting for us, probably in the warehouse. Mm. If you're reading this, you probably placed cards A and B. We did. And you probably don't understand what all this is about. We don't. You can only look at the back of these cards. You cannot look at their front. Before you can flip these cards and resolve the front, you must first complete the tasks on their back. Mm. So we need to find those. It just eyes. says we, we can do it once we see both those things. Yeah. Okay, so we got to open up some more tiles. We got to open up some more tiles, yes. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna start with. So a that's board. that's all I got from okay. the dream book. Um, it is interesting that they did start, start with, with half of so them. So let's done. let's. So we I've revealed the warden. We've done all this. Let's yep. turn this over. Here's the rules for this. This is a very interesting one. It says the goal is to get into the warehouse. Okay, so we need to find the warehouse. I imagine. Usually there's there. like a whole pile right. of rules and things no here. Special rules this or is anything. this is just straightforward. Get into the warehouse. We don't even know where the warehouse is. We have this direction. Could be. This looks like a building here. We have nine turns. That's the dock. We have nine direction. turns. Well, yeah, but we have probably less than nine turns because that warden is going to whoop up right. on us. We might have a few more if we knew that. So we also have a flashlight. We need to keep that in mind. We can light these. Uh, yeah, light that's these true. Darkened. We can turn these things on dark. Dark doesn't really do anything to us that on we this know map. Of. Yeah, but the good thing is I can seal two cards to relocate my dreamer to any other space in the dark because mm. I. Am the darkness. Oh, so you kind of want it to be dark. I actually think we he needs to do that to get away from the warning. Yeah, all right. So, we, we'll, so shoot. Now, if you die. When you die. Don't mention our names. That's correct. We weren't with you. All right, so we're gonna draw. We're gonna draw four cards. Right? We draw cards from the deck. Now this deck is interesting, and oh, I drew a fall. Great. Who shuffled this <laughs> nonsense? I think you should. I need it. to discard one of these to get rid of this card or resolve it immediately. I am going to... So are you going first? Uh, well, no, I mean, I drew my hand. I'm oh. just going to do it. I'm going to resolve this card. I have Numbing Fear. I can't use red from my influence cards this turn. Just for this turn. Wait! Okay. I understand that, but I don't have a lot of red anyway. Okay. So well, red is everything that we need, Thomas. So you're not going to be a lot of help this turn. I'm just saying. Pull your weight. Well, get used to it. <laughs> I'm afraid! I got this fear from... Okay, I could, I, I could just remove the card, though. I think I, it's going to show up my deck again. I don't, but have, I, I don't have a lot of red either. Well, I guess... Well, yeah, but you're warping somewhere else on the map. Where am I going? I don't even know. Oh, I'm, There's all, go, go anywhere you want. Mm -hmm. But I have to seal two cards. Is that from my hand? Yes. Ugh. Oh, wait. Uh, no, it'll be from the top of your deck. Oh, that's fine. Top of your deck. Yeah, yeah. So sealing your deck is a kind of a... This yeah, game it's does. rough. You have this, this deck... Sealing cards says take a couple cards, stick them in the seal pile, right? Who cares? Well, when you run out of all the cards in your deck, you're going to die. <laughs> so yeah. And, when, I, and every time you have to reshuffle, you have to take a, a damage. You know, or I seal think it's cards. damage, but yeah. Yeah, it's called whatever. I don't know. Um, all right. Uh, all right. So, actually, here's the deal. So, we, we, we're talking about things. This warden here is, on, on his turn, he's going to follow a path here. Yeah. So, he's going to morph, which means he's going to get stronger somehow. Then he's going to move towards us, and then he's going to put these tokens on us if he's adjacent to us, which... He's not now, but he's going to move first. He's going to move. He's going to be adjacent to us. Right, because right now we also... You might want to mention that we're closed off from going directly to the right and down. That's true. That's why I think you need to get out of dodge. Yeah, so if you've got yellows, Roy, you can start moving. Um, the other thing, honestly, I don't know that we want to do this right away, but we can discard our strategic plan, and all of us can move up to six spaces. Oh, that that's might buy interesting. Us a little bit of time. Let's split up, because in a horror dream, that's the best option. That's always the best Scooby Doo, idea. like let's split up, gang. Yeah, Scooby Doo that never got hurt though. No, not I mean I can also, I can teleport. Invincible. It was I can teleport away, kids, like yeah. you said. So. I can do that too. The other thing I could do. I, mean, I can go over here and look at the ship, which yeah, would be kind of right. crazy. This is a lot of things about this game, is that it's all these things you can do. I can also, with my Chaos Mask, I could try to either daze, paralyze, or stun the entity. Um, 
which is basically going to try to slow so it down. So we know, too, that this grid is like these are snapped into these specific spaces, so we know that there's not going to be anything this direction, but there's going to be something correct. this direction. But I'm going to be even more meta than that, and we don't have any more of those big cards. Right. That does not mean this won't change. We have a pile of these oh. small cards. That can and if you remember, oh, they can sometimes change. a card will come on yeah. here, and I'm pretty sure yeah. that's what will show these things. Correct. I oh. bet you're right. I bet you're right. Man, I... If there's one thing I know, whatever we do, we gotta run. We do probably need to, yeah. This we specifically, this specifically shows the ship in this little thing here. I think this is probably gonna be unlocked by like going here and investigating the ship. Well, this one also shows the ship too, though. Well, maybe both maybe of them. Both. I mean, it makes sense no, for there to be a propeller. Just so you know, that's that's the symbol for this whole scenario. Well, uh, everything is leading to right. exploring the but ship. Also, that's we that's, better not get here and it's like buy ISS. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I know. Drink, buy your, Ovaltine. drink your Ovaltine. Yeah, I, I'm I gonna do, do it. It's been done like, in a game before. That tile, and this could be a big red herring because this game does a lot of those, but. That is the hardest tile to get into from where we are because you have to go all the should, way around. That's why I should teleport to you it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going actually, to secret tunnel. Actually, secret I, tunnel. I don't know about your secret tunnel. Okay, first of all, I'm changing my mind. I'm doing this. <sighs> okay. What? You're fine. You're good. Go. No, no. I'm getting rid of the you, card. I can't believe you got you discarded that white gem. That was going to be the key to our success. Uh oh. Well, he's got no more. I, I, I'm here. just kidding. I know okay. less about this than you do. <laughs> so, what are your thoughts, Tom? My thoughts are, I'll go there right let's now. Let's run I, down there. Can I choose Use first? Well, here, here we need to spend two. No, let me tell and do it, and then player. you guys can figure out what to do after that. I can, I can do. Yeah, two but red. we can move us on. You don't we have can to move teleport. Us on. You don't have to. This yeah, thing lets us all move six. We could make a decision afterwards. We might need that to run back to somewhere else and regroup. That needs two per player, though, right? Yeah, I got. This is just two. Period. I have that. In I could do five. I could do three. I just want to go here and do that immediately. Let's let Marie, okay, let's let's really let's really let's yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I seal these two cards. Do I even look at them? Or no, 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 no. You just put them You'll somewhere. always wonder. Keep them a little bit away from your discard. <laughs> just put them above your board. Yeah, yeah. We actually have these cool things, but we're not using them. <laughs> Buy cards. I'll never know. I didn't want to bring them out because yeah. it would be confusing. Right. I'm the specialist. I disappear into the darkness and reappear. All right. Are you spending two green now that you're there? Oh, you need green? No, I'm just kidding. I have two green. All right. All right. So that reads... 95. Oh, and put one of those uh, little no tokens on it, right? Because that's one. Yeah, because we finished it. This better not like kill you. I'm exploring right? the Vanguard. This launches a volcano. Okay. I <laughs> hope I go to space. It's just go to be, space. It's space just be game. The, uh, space the, game. The URL for the Kickstarter. That would the be ship hilarious. looks like a giant cradle. We're sure oh. the passengers fall asleep when it starts to sway. It also reminds us of a floating circus. Maybe people have crazy fun during voyages. Mm. But it doesn't look like it's sailing anywhere soon. There are holes in its hull, and the rudder is broken. Mm. It must have lived through some of many adventures and seen a great part of the world before docking here. Sometimes, even such a damaged ship wanders through the sea. There's one like that in the horizon. It sinks slowly. Orders are orders, and the crew cannot do anything but listen. The echo carries sounds of fun and laughter, even though the ship will soon be gone. When a ship sinks, it does not matter who's at the helm. But wait, our minds drifted away too far. I, I agree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was like, okay. Back to the land. Ooh, Roy, you gained two of these. Wow, that's good. Boom. That's good. Don't you oh. do lots of stuff? Yes. Hang on. At least re-roll. We hear a grim voice. No. What's happening there? Stop. <laughs> Show your papers. Relocate the warden to this oh, space. Great. <laughs> hey, good news. We're not moving. We're not now. moving now. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're getting wrecked. Oh, and add one morphing to the warden. So we flip over one of those reds. And so now he's got what? We'll put that on his card. He cancels masks. Oh, now I can't, can't teleport our, away. We can't use our masks. Uh, yeah, is that morphings, what that means? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Morphings are towards the back, I think. Mask. As long as he's on the entity, all masks are inactive. Well, at least you used yours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but now I can't get away. Nope. Well, you can, no, now you just you, run like a normal human being. You can still being. run. You have to use yellows. And you can even do it right away because you haven't... Oh, no, he did a map yeah, action. Yeah, it's your so turn. He's done. He's done. Well, Tom... Um, so, actually, no, the, the, the two blues are not bad. Remember, you can spend a blue as two of any color. Right. Okay. So I'm thinking I might play the secret door and end the dream right away, which I could do, but I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it, folks. I think this is the warehouse, though, right? Yeah, yeah. It's well, I don't know. I mean, it I'm could be. thinking I want to go to this spot because that's where the warden that's started. Where he, he oh. Wait, what All does right. that cause? So if I have green there, we can ask the guard about the warehouse. So what did you do here anyway? You were what ship is this? This is carry the crate away. Uh, 
I'm going to zoom in a little bit. All right. How much green does it cost over there, Tom? Five for okay. this one? Yeah. And it's not a um, it's not an incremental one. It has to all be done at one time, right? I could do it if I could get there. We could still discard that item, and you and I could run there. Can you do the yellow? We need nine. No, I've got three. Well, you could do it once. I could do it once, yeah. Man, I but want to get rid of that morphine. That's is, such a pain. Roy can get a, we could use that, and he can get away with this, too. I mean, he can move six away. Oh! <gasps> Yeah, that's a good idea. That's good before he gets him, Roy. Uh, yeah, I think we need to do that. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so we're going to spend our strategic Just plan. Just flip it over. All right. Now we're going to move six. Do we, do you and let's I all move, move different places. I, I mean, I'll move here for sure. Okay. Where do you want to go? Ugh. Roy, you get to move six. Yeah, but me and the warden were just getting to know each other. Move me, he asked you for your papers, and you're like, what move papers? Me, uh, move me to that bottom right, Tom. I'm going to pull a uh, Indiana Jones papers. No, no, bottom right down in papers. C3. Can I? One, two, uh. three, four, yeah, five, six. Yeah. Okay, okay. and wh where do you want to go? You want to get away from this loser. I'm good with... Wow, him canceling masks, it sucks. That really sucks. So masks, folks, are one-time use each turn. Like, I can re-roll dice a lot, and I now could, I can't. I could roll the luck die to slow him down, but now mm. I can't. Mm. Okay, someone said the game looks mm. confusing. I, I don't disagree on that, but remember, there's a lot going on. Right. So you, when you get the what game, does it, say here? it has a really nice tutorial right. that walks you through each fish step crate. of it. There's a fish crate. Mm -hmm. Crate. It flows. Wait, it floats quite well. I'm gonna okay. look at this crate. So that's three yellow per player. Right. So oh, per player. Well, you can well, you do can it a little still at a time. And then start I can come up there and do it afterwards. Is something else per player that we're doing? Is this per player? That, that one's also three yellow too, per yeah. player. Uh, so six spaces. You and it's, it? it's orthogonally. One, yes. two, three, four, five, six. I can come back up here where Tom is. And you guys are all just you got yellow? running away from me. Yeah. That's why I'm trying to find a place with yellow. I mean, I've got yellow, too. I, I could go do up I have there that if you'd six? rather do I have six? work on the yellow. Uh, yes, you I do. could make six right. happen. Yeah. This is really hard to do, right? So maybe I should go there. All right. Should we all? Okay. Okay. So let me, let me, um, let me explain a little bit for people who are watching. So when we move around, there's a certain... We just use an item yes. to move. But usually you use... Um, yellow. Yellow to move. Do you want to show it over there? Yeah. They're you, different... Yeah. Like so these are some of the cards that you have. We have a deck of cards. Each card has three different types of things. Green is awareness, yellow is cunning, and red is wrath. But think of it more as, you know, like brains, movement, and <laughs> fighting. Right. Uh, you can spend a card for just those numbers. So, like, for that so many possibilities, Mike can play it as a one green, one yellow, or one red. And it doesn't have any other ability. For Secret Door, Mike can play that as two yellow or for free, because that zero means for free. He can do that whole bottom section. Right. Which theoretically could end this dream. But again, I'm not going to do that for the purposes of this, because this would be a very short video if we did that. Okay, so now <laughs> let's show where Mike is. Yeah. Let's show this card here. Because I'm probably going to so do So this that. is this is part of the dreamscape. So Mike yeah, is on, your on there too. So what, Mike is on what spot are you on? This spot. That look away? Right. So you can see there when you're on a spot, you can spend, for example, two green to look away, and he'll read from we'll read from the book four ninety five. He could also spend six yellow per player wow. to peer in the mist and will reveal card F. Which could be the warehouse. It's got to be amazing. That's right. 18 yellow. Right. It's got to be amazing now, with a huge red we, <laughs> No one usually has cards in their hand to play 18 yellow. Right. So you only have to play six at a time, which is still a lot. A lot. Um, and then Roy's on the other one. That's Roy's on the six yellow, six I green. Was. Something's not right with water. And that will reveal card D. Okay. Man. But I also feel like you this is do a that pier and we're though. going down the pier. So you just instead ran there going to the look warehouse. away. Probably, yeah, because I want to see what's going to... I mean, well, that's what I can do right now. Turn the other cheek, Mike. I'll do it. I mean... All right. All right. So we're going to do this. So I'll spend two. It's this your is, turn. Yeah, this is going to end my, my turn. So I'll spend two green to look Throw away. Why not? Throw it up there and show people close up of your two green. Oh, gotcha. I played my inner light card for its green, not for its. So ability. he could have put a light token in a place, or he could have sealed that card to get rid of that morphing. mask. Oh, do I want to do that? Let's do that. Do you have another green? I, I've got two that'll do that. So let's. That, that's a very good point. So instead, I'm going to play this card for the zero cost to get rid of that to mask. To get rid of that mask, yeah, so we can right, use Mike, our mask. You're, you're a hero. All right. That so I, I have to seal a card to do it. So I've done that, um, and now we can use our mask abilities, which is great. 
and I might even use that. I might try to stun him or something, but we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. So now I've got to spend these two green, um, which actually I'll show you here. Oh, no, there you go. I'll use these two green. <laughs> Hokey pokey. Um, <laughs> To, uh, to, to, to look, look away. away. What yes. number is it? It is. Look into the car back 495. There. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Nothing. These waters, this harbor, reminds us of something, something real from our old world. All the fumes, garbage, dirt, and this dense fog which obscures the view and doesn't let us see too far. It's like a catalyst, a stream of scenes. Intense deja vu floods our minds. A laboratory full of electronics, sleeping people connected to sinister devices, a headline, the end is approaching, and a small house and scenery made of hills and fields. You may reshuffle your deck. Oh, well, the that would have been we're not great done. Later. Oh. The vision is gone. At the edge of my mind, I almost had my whole forgotten life in the understanding of the situation. Only a second more, and we hear a grim voice. What's happening there? Are you kidding Stop. me? Stop. Show your warden. papers. Relocate the warden to this space. Add one morphing. Wow, that is flip, 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 ridiculous. Flip. Well, you did it easy, too green. What did you I expect? Guess. All right, so now we have to do a different morphing. Well, we can use those spaces if, oh, you can only do it one. That one can be used at any time. We can always, if yeah. we need to force the warden to go somewhere, so what we can is just reread it. No rerolls. Come on, Mike. Oh, man. Well, but you I can't. That's my whole deck. shtick. Well, Tom, look. <laughs> This is this is what happens in the big world. You want me to play my secret door? We can end this whole dream right now. All right, just keep, hold on to that card. Exactly. Secret I door. Will. Actually, your turn is done. I, I mean, think it right? is done. I can't move. But could I still do my mask action? Or no? I don't think I can now because my well, turn. You, is... We keep we keep going until yeah, we're yeah. all out. Of... I'm just saying I could daze him, but I'm not going to. Okay. 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 All right, Tom, find something good. You should do something that's really inexpensive, and it should move the warden back to your space. Nope. I'm gonna spend all five all my cards here. Okay. Actually, no. Oh man, the fact that I can't re-roll. I know. So though. here's the thing that in this game you Roy can do, and it's a morphing. big, it, it's a big deal, folks. <laughs> we have a die here. This is like a, a luck die. Yeah. And whenever you spend an action, you can roll this die, and if you roll one, two, or three on it, you will get one, two, or three of whatever color you're doing. It's great. Mm -hmm. There are two sides that are blank and nothing happens. Then there's a side that's bad and makes you steal a card. Right. All right. But I can. I have a mask that lets me re-roll. My special ability lets me re-roll. Mike Delisio ruined my life. Not true. The warden ruined your life, sir. All I did was look away. Can you use your blue to get your extra two? Or are we allowed to trade blues as well? Yeah, I I don't know about if we can trade blues. But I'm going to get rid of... We can always do our mask action. Oh, so even, in other words, I could I could still try to, to stun uh, him? I'm going to spend this five here to ask the guard about the warehouse. Five green, that's got to be better than the two green Mike spent. All right, it better be. Yeah, I just hope he says, Ho, oh, what are you doing there? Well, I actually... Where's was, your papers? Where's your papers? <laughs> that reminds me of that Doctor Who episode. Hey, who turned out the lights? <laughs> All righty. What if the entire dream has a, a puff red of herring? smoke <laughs> surrounds the head of the guard with a large cigar in his mouth. Huh? Hey, what's up? <laughs> uh, when he sees us, he spits another cloud of smoke and says in a hoarse voice, More detectives. Another case in the docks. Yeah, I need to find another job. We're not sure if it's a verbal assault or whether he actually took us for detectives. We have to answer carefully. Mm. I have two choices here. All right, here we go. I could say, well, we're here just for that. Let us get into the warehouse. There might be some clues inside. Or... It's bad here. We answer trying to get him to speak more. Warehouse is what we're looking for, but it almost seems that that's way too straightforward, right? Yeah, but oh, like in Realms always says this double they, thing, they double do thing, this thing. Double talk. We know we need the warehouse. I mean, do we just, just go straight up say warehouse? We need the warehouse. He already assumes that you're an investigator. Let right. him think that. Mm hmm. So I'm going to ask straight about the warehouse. No, this is your decision. It's you're your doing decision. it, so you have to look at your choice. If it's good, then you should listen to us. If it's bad, then you're on your own, buddy. All right, I'm, 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 I'm making a bluff roll. Meaning you're not going to say I'm, the Oh, no, I am going to say it. Oh, okay. He says, are you really? His bug eyes narrow with suspicion. Do we have story token B? No. Mm -mm. I don't even know what that means. Those little tokens over there. The, the that would automatically pass. Mm. No. Go to 832. That's not good. <laughs> Show me your papers. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I felt it. <laughs> Each night a filthy rat tries to sneak into the warehouse. Oh. But it's good. At least something's happening. A good brawl is a good brawl. Boys, the fun is happening. Here we go. A lengthy whistle echoes around, and bulky men run out of the shady alleys. <laughs> Each dreamer in range one suffers one hip 
each oh. and it's relocated back to the beginning. Okay, so you get you get that's not bad actually. I mean So do we need to get story token F somehow probably? You mean B B, B before we get up there. I'm sad right now. I'm bruised. You're bruised. You got. You don't have the warden breathing down your neck. All right. Well, so well, you guys have some cars off. You can move away. No, no. It's his turn now. No, it's not. It's his turn when we all decide we're done. We can we can play as much as we want. Oh, I've been playing play it solo. No, I play it solo. It's different. I just play. Yeah, out we the can cards. keep playing. We can keep playing cards until we're yeah, done. It's yeah, over yeah. to you now. Oh, over to me. I'm going to do the whole. Uh, I'm gonna have to pass because I'm out yeah, of cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna spin a blue and do six yellow to go here. What is it? Reveal card D. Wait, you spent two blue for six yellow? No, no. I'm spending uh oh, oh. Card. Oh, card D. That's, That's not the book. Here. So we find card D, we turn it over. And uh -huh. this goes on top of the ship. Um, does it go below the board? It does. Ooh. Oh. We've extended the board. Oh, that's cool. I've changed everyone's mind about how big so the So you can see how that added to this card here. It made an extra space. We can go all the way down here to reveal card 1134Z. 234Z. Mm. 234Z is a big card. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's a, that's a tile card. I'm worried about that, but that needs six red. That's not too bad. We can do no. that. Yeah. The problem is there's a wall here, so you have to go around. Have to and go then. around, yeah. All right, it's over to you. You gonna run like a like a? Well, scared. I've got one card, Tom. Um, and that that space is not in the dark. Yeah, but can you get away from the warden? Because if if he's I can, one space, I can move two. Can so you I, get away from him? I can't. I can't get away from him, Tom. Because oh yeah, I can. I can get two. What do you mean? No, I'll still be in range of one. How many times can I use this? Once per turn, I think. Yeah, what does it say? It. Once per turn? That's what what it does it say? It just says I may seal two cards. No, uh, oh, yeah. I guess mine says do once per turn. So, All right. I'm going to play this two yellow. I'm going to move. Can you move me to the upper left corner of that C3 card? That's as far, far away as I can get. I'm still in range one of the guy, right? Wait, do you count range? Did you stun him? Weren't you going to no, stun I'm going to try. But I also, keep in mind, there's... A chance. There's two things that can happen. One, we can add another morphing to him, or we can immediately run through that turn through that turn card, and then we'll have to do it again when we. How about How about you wait until after I go to do that? Resolve any effects of the current turn card. <gasps> add one morphing. <gasps> Days paralyzed and stun. I don't even know what any of that. I means. don't either, but I'm assuming it's all good. <laughs> All things we don't with that, that will keep. They sound them. like they get better, right? Let's find out. Let's Let's Put really quickly straight up chaos. Yeah, that's my chaos map. Days, 17. It's probably a token over there, Roy, actually. If I get to take my CFTC, turn. see Days, Paralyze, and Stun. I'm going to get rid of two more cards and go here. Okay. State tokens. Oh, Wait, where tokens. were you, Roy? How did, how, right. how I'm teleporting. Oh, okay. Okay, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Dazed. Uh, max range of entities effects. Dreamer actions is one this turn. Stunned. Does not hurt us. Mm-hmm. And what's happening? Paralyzed, no yeah. movement or relocation is turn. Yeah, see, that's a big one, but I don't know if it's worth that's it. That's a one out of six chance, Mike. I know. Running through that card twice would make me so very sad. Okay, well, I won't do it, but it's, it's yeah. It's, well, I'm not saying we shouldn't try. Oh, the other thing I can do here, I am going to do this. Uh, I'm going to discard this card and spend, I have one spirit token as a yellow so I can get a, one space away from him. So Moving up or over? Um, oh, let's move... It looks like we're going to probably start heading over to that ship, right? Well, here's my concern. Mm -hmm. He could, if you move over mm -hmm. and he moves well, yeah. he'll get both of you. Right. If you run up there and make chicken noises mm -hmm. or hawk noises, uh -huh. he might follow you and leave Roy alone. We get to decide which way he goes, right? If it's, if it's equal distance, yeah. 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 All right, move me up, I guess. I don't know. Because now we'll have to come to a decision. And only one of us will get wrecked, I suppose. All right, so that was it for me. But also, we have this one over here. Yeah. There is the other option that we didn't That's pick. True. There is. I'm done again. Back to you. I'm out of cards. Back to you. I'm out of cards. Here All we right, go. here we go through a turn. So, first, morphing. He gets another morphing thing put on him. Pick a good one, right? He needs to there stop taking no, morphine. No ones. It's like Bane. Plus two seal. Uh, we probably have to all seal two cards, would be my guess. 
Immediately? We'll find out. Well, when he hits us. Each entity effect that seals your card seals two oh. more cards. Oh, that might not be That's so all, bad. Yeah. It doesn't actually say we seal, so that okay. may not affect us. But anytime us. we want to do oh, okay. an action, we got lucky on that cards. one. Finally. Well, anytime we want to do an action, all right, Roy, roll cards, for his movement. Oh, well, I'm not going to be using my thing anymore. Try, try to roll a, a single arrow. An arrow. Single yeah. Arrow. That was terrible. What does that show? It's got a couple lines on it though. That shows he moves his, his full movement. movement, and his movement is two. Okay. So that's not too bad. No. He moves here, one, two. Right, and then he does his basic effect. Yeah, no, this is problematic, that's not though. It's going to hit me. So it says, each dreamer in range one suffers a damage and is relocated to the start space. That's actually fine. Um, place one on here for each affected dreamer. If there's three on him, we have to do the thing over. Oh, Oof. wow. It could, like, combo. Right. And then that gets discarded, right? And this gets discarded. So we'll flip it down and show the next one. Right. Next time he's going to move, he's going to do that exact same thing he did and then morph again. Yeah, that's true. However, that us losing with three on him only happens on the red effect, which right. isn't on the card. But right, right. it's going to be on the card. It's going to be probably. on cards. Yeah, yeah, how many cards do we draw up to? Now we'll draw three. No, up, four. 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 Up to six. Right. But we all right. went through all our cards. It is four, Tom? Yes. Okay. Mm. How much is that? Six total? Mm. Oh, okay. I'm okay with this. Oh, I got it. I think it. we should let... You can do six? If so, I think we should let Roy go first. Uh, yeah, one, two... One, two, three... Four, five, six. <sighs> I have the oh, six... I, I have the six in my hand, but then I can't move, right? Because you have to discard yellow to move. Well, you have these. I know. I can get six, six green. You right could now. also move with our clocks. You can move with a clock, yeah. That might be more interesting than using it for time. Right, we could spend two clock token. So over here, folks, and you can't see it because the token's there. It's off the board. There's a, a clock thing. You can use those for two different things. You can use them for free movement, mm -hmm. or you can use it to add more turn Turners. cards. Because if we go through all the turn cards and we don't complete the dream, we're out of time. Mm -hmm. um, you should use the clock. Yes. Because otherwise, you're just wasting it. I mean, it's a free thing. So that you could spend two movement with that, Roy. I would be able to save my blue. That's basically what it's going to do. But it's going to take my whole hand to do it. Otherwise, I'd be. I honestly think we blue. should go for broke Either. because why not? Yeah. So you're saying spend the clock? Yeah. yeah. Just play out my hand and yeah. keep my two well, blue. Well, it's it's my it's it's that it's my new gaming philosophy. Right. If you can spend do something, stuff. do it. Don't yeah. save it for later because you would never use it then. Okay. Do it then. So we're, we're, we're That's also my philosophy. How many are you moving? With my bank oh wait, account. but I need to move two spaces. Well, then we can spend two. So maybe I should spend the crystal instead of doing that, or no? But you can you can use a crystal for more things. Right. That can only be done for that. Okay. Put me down there. Then I'm spinning. This is uh, two, then three, and then I'm spinning this red to turn this into three more red. So that's six red. Okay. So go ahead and take one of those closed off tokens and closed off tokens. There. And when we were talking about, does the board go further this way or not? Yeah. I'm basically going into space on the uh, ISS Vanguard yeah, here. Yeah, now we'll be probably adding one of those larger map tiles up there. But we have I, to read actually, something or no? I'm trying to figure out how to turn this dream game into a space game. So <laughs> yeah, if anyone can do it, you can, right? <laughs> Man, people were giving me so much grief. It was hilarious. <laughs> Hang on. So it's 234Z, is that what it I is? I can't see it. Oh. More standing uh, um, it. um, 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 uh, II-34Z. Going with the UK nomenclature. Very nice. I don't know. I just, you know. When you play games, you can just pretend to be anybody you want, right? Right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There's like a gazillion cards in this right. game, and I try not to look at them ahead of time. Dream a little dream of me. It's a note card. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's a note card. Remember? Uh, oh. You may use this note card only in the investigation Foggy Docks. Yep. Return to Foggy Docks Dream. Crates. Port is full of them. So, if you're on a space... This is active. If you're on a space with any unblocked crate action, you may discard a key oh. to roll the luck die. Well, so we can spend our key that we have to do that. We don't have a key. So we can spend our key that we have. Sure. 
<laughs> yeah. You would have keys potentially if you would. Yeah. Okay, actually, this doesn't matter. This is kind of a right. this is kind of an out of dream thing anyway. And okay. I'll explain. Because mm -hmm. if we did the key, we roll the luck die, and we find a new random item, and that helps us in the future. This goes back to this, this oh, secret. Got it. Okay. So it's we can find. We could possibly find a new item in the crates. Right. So basically, I found stuff that, that was right. good for the campaign, but not good for the current. Not mission. good for this current dream. So. Well, you know, that's still interesting, right? Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. it's. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And if you're playing the campaign, that'd be a really good thing to have. You can explore all the crates. I'm telling you, it's these really expensive things that are going to matter. Know. This six yellow, yeah. I really feel like that's one of them. Um, this is carry the crate away. I feel like I we should ignore that for now, but maybe not though, because it might reveal this. Yeah. I don't know. Did this already reveal that? No. Oh, there's the fan blade. We can flip that. Oh. <laughs> You're so smart, Roy. You're so smart. B3. This goes... Oh, can we sneak in now? Can we sneak into the warehouse? Oh, it's behind the warehouse. How does this go on? It goes exactly... Oh, no. It's here. Oh. It's B3. Oh, cool. Ooh. Oh, but there's another warden spot or something spot. No, spot we can send there. them back to either spot. Got it. Okay. So uh, what are the actions up there? We can kindly ask the crate to open. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Or we can check. Is that a, say the mannequin? There's oh, there's a mannequin, a mannequin with like a looks like a crash police dummy. tape. Mm. What's the say on show, it? Show this guy to the, everybody. Yeah, good because I want to see what it is too. Mike needs us to magnif magnify. So that's four times the number of people, right? What does it say on Check the... Check the mannequin. Kindly ask the crates. To is that a police the... car? That's a crate action. Why, what, why, one of your cards, they said, did you do this, Gregory? Yes. That gives you a wound. Oh! I've been injured. You have. All right. Check the mannequin. I blame Chad. Kindly ask the crate to open. Strange. So this says, if you're in a space with an unblocked crate, you may discard a key to roll the luck die. Oh, so is this an is this a blocked crate? No, unblocked. Yeah. So any of the crates that are unblocked, you can trigger that to get items. But it's only one time. Why would we go check the mannequin? I don't know what that has to do with anything. All right. Well, I mean, it. it I don't know. It might not. It might be. You know. Again, I keep talking about red herring. So I, I think that mannequin knows how to get into the warehouse. What is? The, by the way, this is one of my favorite things of this game. Is that these cards, the these little cards, cards are overlay and go on top of the map, and it changes the map. That's so cool. It is cool. Tom, what are the actions on the space that we're currently occupying? Because I can't. We're standing on them, and I can't. See. Uh, six, six red to reveal card C. Okay, so let's see if I can do that. Um, That's true. We never did the I action can, of where we started. That. I can do that. Amazingly, right. you're down here, right? Yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do? This is going to suck because I'm actually going to be sealing three cards. Um, I'm going to use my hesitation here, seal this card to gain three of any uh, intent. Okay, so I seal that, but I also have to seal two more because of the... No, 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 that's uh, when the entity you causes you oh, to seal, it says. That's even, well, then that's great. Okay, so that's, th that, that's three then because I sealed that. Four, five, six. So that's six red. Reveal card C. This card is active till the dream <gasps> ends. That's a key. Oh, there's a brick. Oh, the brick. Yes. <laughs> I'm like looking at all that. Mm -hmm. This is what matters. All right, yes. show people what we found. It's kind of cool. All right. So we found a... T is this is what I love about Etherfields. It's so mm -hmm. weird. Yeah. We found a little house. Right. Can we go in the house? And there's a key. Can we spend that key? Did we find a key? I don't know. Can we spend that key to open a crate? What does it say on the back? What does this oh, no, say? No, this is the back. Or this is the front. Well, you know what? Either way, we can reveal this card now. Right. This task. So we see both elements. This adds something to the ship area. It actually changes the thing that Roy did. So this is going to get put on top of the ship. And that's five green. But like, see how the ship is repairing itself? What? Is it the ship repairing itself? Like the ship looks wrecked there. Is this nah, true? No? It looks pretty close okay. to the same. Oh, okay. But there is a bird, it. if that matters to you. Oh, you know, it matters. Look at that bird right there. <laughs> That's the key to this whole dream right there is that bird, Tom. Well, here's the thing, folks, and again, we're, since we're in the midst of spoilers, and, and I don't know if you know this, one of the things that, that I found earlier, remember these tokens? Uh-huh. The game has a thing that says if you, each person has their own tokens here. If you ever find any of these things in a dream card, 
you can read that letter, uh, that number. Oh, that's crazy. That's okay. awesomely cool. Is the bird one of them? Because <laughs> that would be neat. All right. Uh, no, but that would have been cool, yes. So this now replaces that card, is that correct? No, it just goes on top of it, so oh, it's going to okay. go on top. Although it does cover up the thing that Roy did, which was worthless. Good. What are you trying to say? Maybe I, I, I wanted like the warden to come I back and I never feel like out. I'm unclear. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That key might mean something. I think it means we get a key. It might. I think it means we gain a key. All right. Well, you see a key. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm is, is there like a standard rule that if you see a key on a card, you gain one? Or well, you know, you, you, you know, you get here. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What's chat think? Are we getting a key or are we not getting a key? Let's do it. Someone said we need to drink something that shrinks us to go down there. <laughs> <laughs> right. Drink me. All right. So my turn is done. So now we're kind of just trying to go to the right spots. Yes. Trying to investigate. And I, I thought I, that was the entire goal the whole time. I know. I know. Pretty I, much. I, I, but the warehouse is obviously over here. We that still, is the warehouse right there. Uh, we can't get in that warehouse, though. we got to uh, get B first, right? There might be something under that mannequin, so I'm just saying. I could peek through the keyhole. I need three. We got to start doing some of these big ones. We've yeah, been yeah, putting them sure. off. Um, I would have spent six green. I didn't put that's a big one. The all mannequin right, might right. distract the guards. I'm going to go Could here. Be. That cost me one because I have peculiar state of acceleration in play. Nice. So I only need to pay one to move two. All right. What? And that's pretty peculiar. That acceleration is crazy. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I'm also getting rid of that morphing, the okay. lack of rerolls because that's oh, garbage. Oh, yeah, that's huge. That all is right, a I'm big gonna, deal. So we need to put three right on here per player. You have to seal it, though, I think. Yes, you're right. Thanks. I'm going to I'm gonna slap this person. Slap him in the grill. So that's two. I need three, though, to do anything. So I'm oh. going to roll my luck die. Okay. I, um, yeah. No, no, let me. I, I got. Woo! Boom, boom, boom. That's five. Yeah. That's a good roll. Six, seven. Um, let's put two on it. And you're looking in a crate. Wow. Yeah, I know. I hope it's really good. We need three more. Um, I, I really think this six per person one and this five green per person, yeah. those are the ones that really matter. Well, that's to add a turn, Tom. I think that. I think this is going to help us distract the oh, guards. Oh, you're right. Adding a turn. Oh, I noticed there's a pink here. Yeah, yeah. I think you can spawn there, too. Yeah, let's not go to the Vanguard. Don't go to Van. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to go to the Vanguard this whole time. Mm. But yeah, I, th I think we should figure out how to do this, too. Okay, people are, are split on whether we get a key or not. Yeah. Well, let's go with the positive people and not go with the negative people. We need more positivity in our dreamscape. That's right. Escape. That's right. We don't need nightmares. Okay, so whose turn is it? Uh, it could be any. I just want it's Roy's. Yeah. Oh. Okay, uh, back to you. I've unless, I mean, unless I want to... Unless I'm in danger of the warden currently. Well, you ever, I mean, we could all be in danger. We're like equal distance. I've from got me. one card, but, but nothing I don't have anything gonna, to do anything with it currently. Nothing that's going to really uh, help. Well, then you can save it. And, you know. I'm going to save it. I mean, yeah, I could discard cards to move. Oh, no, I can't actually. All right, yep, so I'm, I'm, I'm done. I am also, so. Here we go, roll. Roll that die for the bad guy. Well, I don't I have what. to do it again? I will make Mike do it. Oh, great. Uh, this will work out real well. Mike, not that. Well, that is good. That's one space. One. He's got to move towards the clear, close. To the, well, no. He, if I get to here, I can just he, teleport up to here. Yeah, I don't think he can go that way. Or I can up oh, teleport yeah, he can go up straight here. down. You're right. He can go straight down. Okay, then each streamer in range one, that's nobody, suffers the damage, blah, 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 blah. Then he morphs, draw another morph token. Ugh, these morphing tokens. No more luck dice? No luck? No, I'm just kidding. Seal plus two. Oh, oh man. Uh, good oh. thing he doesn't cause us to seal cards, or we would be wow. pretty toasted right that's now. That's rough. Okay, so now, we, right, draw so now we draw four more up Four to more, six. but you can't go higher than six. Oh, I got one of my special cards. Three, four. That is kind oh, man, of a these little bit of some of what I wanted. Garbage. Oh. I would like to go first. Okay. If that's okay, because I would like to finish this one and see what you happens. Do it, man. You do, do it. Because also, I feel like there's a good chance that whatever I do, I need to see your papers. You're bringing the warden over there. Yeah. Are you okay? Let me go first. Oh, that, that's fine. Where are you I'm going? I'm spending two red, and I'm rolling the die. Okay. I failed. I will use my mask to re-roll. Oof. Failed again. I will discard a card to roll again. Oof. I will continue to do so. Wow. 
There we go. Got, got one. Should have just played the extra card. Man, that's rough. <laughs> so that triggers that. Yep. So that triggers that. That's uh, 691. Actually, I could have also gotten really unlucky because the top card here might not have been a discard. Oh, the, yeah. The special ability. So each player has a special deck. Here, and I'll show put, you. Yeah, here, put this. So you have a deck. So I'm playing the Gambler because, of course. Right. And if this card is on the top of your deck, you can do the action below. And there I can discard that card and re-roll one of my rolls. Does it cost you one? Yeah, you're right. Hey, hang on, I'll pay the yellows to do it. Thanks for pointing that out, boy. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to keep you honest, Vassal. I'm the free spirit. This oh, this allows me to basically get spirit. I have other cards that'll put spirit tokens on my board, and then I can discard this and spend those spirit tokens to gain the uh, associated colors that I would like. So, uh, but those <laughs> are only on your starting deck. When you get new influence cards, they're better cards generally, but they don't give you access to these. Mine lets me spend green to unexhaust other people's cards, but we don't have a whole lot of cards. Uh, my, to my, mine says, so. do you have the real treasure card? Um, the key is the real treasure. No, this whole time. it doesn't say real treasure on it. Yeah. Oh, well. So no, this is a one-time thing. Really? Man. After a long struggle, the chest <gasps> pops open. We can't believe our eyes. A skinny and terribly constricted man sits in a box. <laughs> Sounds right. He is so exhausted he does not react to what's happening. He's folded up like a puppet, all to make him fit into this small wooden crate. Did someone put him there? Or did he decide on such a fate to reach the land of his dreams? Since he decided on something like that, it is dread to think what he was running from. Mm. It's better to leave him alone. Maybe he'll get out later on his own. But who knows who or what he really is. But maybe we should take him out right now. If yes, I get a fall. Oh. And resolve 402. But are you sure? If you're taking out the strange figure from the crate during your past visits in Foggy Docks, you immediately cause the crate. Uh, okay. All right, so... Notice past visits. It is possible in the future yeah. that we will come back to this exact same place for a different dream, which actually could mean the crates matter. Right. There's all kinds of weird stuff like this. I've done this where I've gone back to the same dream, and it's different things are happening. Right. Mm. Um, that being said, we're here to find out we're what happens. We're here to find stuff out. Uh, so give me a flop. A flop. <laughs> it goes into your discard, though, right? Yeah. A more numbing fear. Yay. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I'm going to read... 402. All right. Let's see who this foldy up dude is all about. The here. folded man. Mm -hmm. We pull the poor man gently, trying mm. not to break his brittle mm. bones. Ah, <laughs> oh, gruesome. Um, he is light as if he wears a bundle of dried branches. Does helping someone in such a deplorable state even make sense? I he lies so. in the rain and seems to be drinking falling drops. After a while, he slowly crawls towards a nearby building. Maybe that's enough? Let's take care of our business. Take a blank token. And write newcomer ten on it. Put it in storage. Interesting. So we, uh, yeah, we'll just newcomer ten. We're virtually is over there doing in, that. In yeah, yeah, yeah. We hear a grim voice. What's happening there? Stop. <sighs> Show your papers. Relocate the ward into the space. Add a morphing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Brutal. Oh, plus two movement. That's bad. Yeah, that's not good. That's bad. That's not good. <laughs> I can tell you what that is. That's not good. Thank you. Okay, Would you so think that's so, good? Or? <laughs> so here's what's going to happen. It's it's uh, either my turn or Roy's okay, turn. So I think One of us needs to spend some of these to get rid of morphings. Oh, we can do that to get rid of morphings. Yeah, I'll, I'm, I'm here. You can you can discard a key, and that's why the key is important, too, if, it, if we have it. We can discard a key or one of these to remove a morphing. Oh, yeah, if the entity is in range of one. So Roy couldn't do it, but... Uh, Am I in range of one? I, I can't remember. Do you? Do you well, if you're diagonal? moving, if you're going to move by there anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, you know what? Getting rid of the movement. I don't care about the plus two no, no, seals. That, that, that not, plus two movement's horrific. Right. That's what I'm thinking. All right. Oh wait, wait. We did this, didn't we? We did do that one. We're this, on this is four per Ooh. player. Special I really think effect. it's that mannequin. Okay, so not so bad. The special effect goes off and makes his thing go off. That here's the deal. This time he moves towards us after he does that right. basic effect, which is not so bad. Right. As long as you're not, I mean, I, okay, it's bad for some of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to get away, right? I can't. Okay. Mm. All right. So it's either Roy's turn or my turn. Um, what is that uh, card up there? How many actions does it take? Which to, one? This one? Yeah, to check the mannequin. mannequin? Yeah. Four per player. Four green or four? Four green per player. Okay. Um, I could at least get that 
started. Don't forget, we can Three, zeros. four, our, our oh, five. five. <laughs> what is that? Six. You need seven green, I think. Seven green, and we can reveal a random card. It's probably not worth our time. Eh. But we also don't want to spoil anything in case it works yeah, out. Or yeah, that's true. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine. I mean, I could, I could maybe get up there by teleporting. I could definitely again. do the. I could definitely do the four action there, right? There's four green. Is that right? Say what? The one below it. Have we have we haven't done, have we done that one? No, we I haven't. I feel like it's got to be the mannequin because this is another crate. Like I don't uh, feel like the answer is going to be in these crates. I feel like maybe this would right. distract one, distract two, the guards and give us that B token so that way we can go back here and talk to them. Yeah. How many? It's, you said four. Because we are. Right? Our goal is to get in the warehouse. Right. Four green per players. Right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to spend three yellow to move to that spot. I'm going to spend four green. Mm -hmm. To go so ahead have, and put a token on. So we got one token there. We That's need three. basically my turn. Oh, All right. <sighs> yeah, Guys, I, I can't I, move. I got to oh, go wait. first. When I went next to him, I spent this and I moved, removed that movement more, uh, more thing. I can let... Oh, I can draw two cards. Oh, close. Should I do that? Uh, might not be... Because you need to get yellows, right? Fine. I'm going to play motivation, draw two cards. If, it, if the current suit had been... Uh, clubs, I would have been able to draw four. Oh. Tom's going to take another turn before mine. That's fine. Another one. <laughs> I'm going to move. Are you supposed to take multiple turns before somebody else gets a turn? No, no, no. You, it's when you take a board action. That's when you take a board action. Oh, that's when your action is. Or like a major action. Right, right. I, I just played this card. I'm going to. But you did play a board action. What did. I played You opened the box. I haven't had a turn. Well, that's his fault. He's the one who skipped you. <laughs> okay. Oh, I thought I went after Mike. I'm following my rules. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't know we were going in strict. That is a cheater, man. I didn't know we were going in strict. Well, he could always pass. Or, you know, it doesn't yeah, matter, yeah. really. Okay. I'm going one, two. I'm going to get rid of two more cards and go up here. Wait, why did you move two first then? Oh, because you had to, be, I had in to be in the darkness. darkness. Oh. Then I'm going to do this because I still need to move one more. And then four green to put another one. Mm, okay, we're getting sprees. There. We're getting there. You guys are examining a mannequin. Meanwhile, I'm like, ah! <laughs> show me your papers. But fortunately, I can move two. Oh, because of your thing, your ability. Okay, then I'm assuming everyone's passing. I'm out of stuff now. Everyone, yeah, I have to pass. Okay, so now, good news. First, he does his action. No one's adjacent to him. Great. Now we move. Now we move. Now he might move towards us, but we don't care. Perfect. That's one. That's two. That's two. Oh, that's two, I mean. And then we check. Is there three tokens on him? There's, There's not. not. Okay. And then we discard And he didn't card. morph either, no, so that's good. Oh, he's not going to morph on this next one, though. That's good. Although he's going to do that twice. He's going to do it before he moves and after he moves. Right. Ugh. Well, we need to get this done. Okay. So I'm going to draw, draw four. Draw. By the way, when your oh. deck runs out... Then you gotta take damage or seal cards, and so the game kind of spirals out. Just as a heads up, we're probably not gonna finish this on camera for a couple reasons. One, we don't wanna spoil the grand finale ending. Right. And two, time. But yes. Um, someone, some people said they're coming I in can, and it's confusing. I can Listen, do the last one. There's a couple things. It's supposed yeah. to be confusing in some yeah. ways because it's a dream. It's weird. Right. We don't know what's going on. There is an overall story that you kind of learn, but mm -hmm. you gotta go in a dream and figure out what we're doing. We know we need to get in a warehouse. Why? We don't know. Right. It's like a dream when you're at, uh, dreaming at night. You don't. You know you, that there's something happening that doesn't make total sense. It's so like this, sand slipping through your fingers. Sure. Is this Bill and Ted? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, um, Just talking about it, dreams. But there's different things on here, and we're not. I the dreams I've been in. I don't know about you. Mm -hmm. The ones that I finish and complete. I've only I've only died once. Mm -hmm. I've lost a dream twice. I died once. I lost a dream twice. Yeah. Um, but I've won most of my dreams. Um, You're that good. No, I'm not. <laughs> I, I feel like we might lose this one. Yeah. But it's... Uh, I have not seen everything in each dream. Exactly gotcha. right. You don't, I have... Like, right. like, even in this one here, we're probably going to skip this part. and we, we may not open this crate. Right. So you... There is... Some, I guess there's that kind of replayability. And sure. again... If I come back to the warehouse later, I might do something right. different. It's a game about exploration, and you, you're working with limited information. And oftentimes there are even hidden clues on the, mm -hmm. the map tiles themselves that you might say, oh, wait a minute, what does that say? And, and you're thinking of it as flavor text. And it's not necessarily flavor text. It's a clue on what you should be focusing on. Yep. So, you know, 
there's there is a lot going on. But you know, we could kill this guy too. By the way, we haven't even thought about that. We have not. Although I would like to ready. explore the mannequin. Go ahead, see. explore yeah, the mannequin. I'm, okay. I'm not good for red. I'm well. Yes, this is going to get me three, four, five, six. That's actually oh. three, four, five. That's, That's too many. But I I want to do this, so I want to get the green. So I want to see what's up with this mannequin, because let's make it happen. A still mannequin. Make this mannequin happen for a while. A still mannequin lies behind the police tape. <gasps> Did anyone die here? We ask a kind policeman. <gasps> yes, the poor lad, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> the mannequin died. The mannequin. Okay. This is a dream. Yes. We can't push this case any further, as we lost the chalk. We can't outline <laughs> the corpse, you know. And who are you, detectives? Uh, we don't know what to answer. Maybe it's better to go with the flow. Oh, yeah, we're here for the case. For the case of the missing chalk, of course. <laughs> we have our leads, but we need a pass from you to look around the harbor and the warehouse. Oh, story can be. more honestly, less directly. Well, not really, but we think we can help. As they say, the law can use all hands on deck. Anyway, we managed to lead the conversation in such a way it reaches the same point. B, B, After B. all, we have the advantage over them that we know we're dreaming, and it makes it a lot easier. Sure, you'll get your pass, but I'll have to see your leads, and you know how it works. From now on, the case is suspended, and I'll wait here for many sleepless nights. He ends with a long yawn. We need to we gain card 234R. Do we have story token A? We got we story don't. token nothing. Yeah, I noticed that. Again, I think the story tokens could possibly be a different could dream completely. Different I don't know. Dream, yeah. So 234R. Mm-hmm. Come on. I hope this is going to give us B and deputize us. Right, so we can go back over that. Case suspended. Task. Okay. When you see both of the following elements in the Dreamscape or Active Secret cards, except task cards, resolve the corresponding script. There's the bird. Ah, yep. okay. See, I told you I told you that bird was the key to this case. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So, so we're looking for me plus a bird. Okay. I don't think, I don't see the me anywhere, do we? Um, well, we haven't been looking for a me. This is a pitchfork and SS. ISS. ISS, ISS is we, there. We well, that. the pitchfork's right there. Okay, so we can do that one. Okay. Um, the scythe is right there as well. The scythe is there. Do we see the well? Um, well. Uh, I see what you did there. Um, I don't see the well, though. Okay. Man, then again, I don't see I don't anything. know what it is. Even though I'm not good at it, mm -hmm. finding things on cards. Just gets me excited. That's yeah, one of the yeah. things I like about the unlock cases. Right. Even though some people hate that part, but I think that's fun. Like, oh, look, there's a 62. I never even noticed it. Is there a me on that secret card though, with the key in the house? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's that. No, that's not. It's right there. What? That's that. Oh, yes. That is a well. Ah, look. Show the people. <laughs> <laughs> the tiny village came into play. Yep. Okay, so they're telling you to look for those items. See, they that's a also... little well next to the house. Show them, show them that the scythe is on that. Um, yeah, we want to prove thing. So we've actually got two of these. Yeah, we do. There's the scythe and the bird. We've already definitely looked at it before. So. And right. the pitchfork was on there. So we're going to be able to look at two of these. Yeah, but we haven't found the me. We have not. And the f interesting thing is, you look at this, is that these two are one time. This one doesn't have that. So I wonder if it's something you could do. You know, more than once. So. Well, let's do one more time. Pick yep. the one you want to do first. All right, let's do. Uh, let's do to the. Me. To me, I feel like this was a harder one to find, right? Because that was on the. Yeah, yeah. On the house, so I would do. Let's do three ninety-five first. I'm gonna give these to you. All right, three ninety-five. The sickle goes into the depths of the well. Plink! We fish out a shining creature. One of its scales shimmers. So much glittering. We get three of these. N nice. Just in the, just in the in the pool, right? Or yeah, do, yeah. I don't know. We'll just. Here. Yeah, you can each take one. All right, All right. and so uh, we'll put the little block token on that because we've done that one. That was great. Okay. 886. Everything matches. It's not a bident or a quadrant, but a trident. My word. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Stupidity. The letters are also correct. Not A, B, C, or X, Y, Z, but I, S, S. There's a strong connection, but between what? What is four of this two plus two addition? It's still a mystery. We have to note it down. Each dreamer may unseal a chosen card. Okay. okay. So I only have one. I've so got two. it's unsealed. I'm definitely going to unseal. Has, that, that'll go into your discard. I have sealed so many cards this game. Yeah, so pick a good one. <sighs> what colors are we going to need? Because you're right. Those are like just bonuses. Yeah. The other one's probably more of a story thing. Right, right. That's really cool. That is cool. We should block that one too, though. I'm going to take Inner Light back because that helps us get rid of morphing tokens. In a light? Important. That is good, yeah. 
All right, so um, a quadrant. So is that I, what is that what a pitchfork's called? A quadrant. Maybe, yeah, right. I don't know. So is it Roy's turn now? Is that kind of what we we had, was that all Tom's turn? We skipped. Roy I didn't do anything. Or? No, no. I that, that was, was all Roy. That was me. I was the very first person, and oh, I looked right. at the um, mannequin. So it's back to me then. So we still haven't found the thing to help the guard. Yeah, because I did a, a board thing. We I need don't to think... get away from him though, right? We do need to get away from him. That's terrifying. Because he's going to be doing that basic effect. <sighs> Correct. Yeah. What, what? What? What do you think? Okay. So we know we don't want to go here. This is opening a crate. Well, of course, in that crate could be a token. You know. Right. 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 Um, it could. This is done. Here we revealed. We did both of these. Did we do both of those? No, yeah. we didn't reveal card F, did we? No, it's right there. Yeah, we might need to head down there. Ah, that's six yellow per person. I know, but that the, there's got to be a reason, right? All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play my shining card. If you are in a um, you know, space which we are, which is basically a spawn space, gain a shining gem. So I'll take a shining gem. Oh, I tried. It's going to turn your two green to two wild, basically. All right. Um, and then I need to get down and move down there. Um, one, two. I'm up there. One, two, three. I can I could just basically get all the way down. What's over to the right there, Roy? Um, in the upper right of that B three card, what's Which the yellow this? action? Three per this player. This is. Oh. Um, By the way, I'm gonna peek through the keyhole. Okay, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be cheeky here. By the way, it says whenever you gain these, mm -hmm. I roll the luck die. I'm gonna. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I want to get more. Yeah, why not? I want more. There you go. I'm going to re-roll that. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. I get an extra one. Okay. <laughs> We're almost out of them. All right. So what was it, Roy? We peeked through the peak keyhole, and it was four yellow per player? Or that's three yellow per player. All right. Gosh. But then the other one is asking the guard again, which we haven't tried the other option of no. asking the guard, right. but I feel like no, we need that B. Here's the thing. I don't think B would be the one in the same space, right? Right. Yes. I the problem is we don't have that. We don't. We we, 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 we can't be next to him this turn, right? Because he's gonna. We gotta get away from. Okay. Him. So well, I'm, we can relocate him. So remember that. How do we, you relocate him? Well, you have to do a contact action oh, of six I, green. I but but the spring perfumes, oh. if used as a contact action, is six green. We could be like, go smell the roses, buddy, and we could send him all the way down to the bottom of the ship, right? We could. Isn't this a, a, a spot? Yeah. Yes. Do we want to do that? What is it? This might not be a bad time because he does his basic effect twice. And hey, then I can start putting the first yellow it's the on the new that. vassal rule of gaming. Yeah, let's do if it. you got it, use it. Spring perfumes. Let's get them down there. Smell the roses over there, buddy. That's right. Now, I'm thinking, do, do, you, do we want to start progressing on that peeking through the keyhole or no? What's this one? Oh, that's another crate. Well, here's the thing. I think for purposes of time, yeah, let's just let's do something. Okay. You know, I mean, that we can do. Right. This one is good, but it's also farthest from him. Okay, so I'm going to spend this two yellow. Move me two down to that spot. Gotcha. Please. You fly, of course, right. with your one wing. I believe I can fly, and I can play these three yellow here to put a token on there. Got it. All right, that's my turn. How many more do we need? Uh, six more. By the way, hello, Nick Wagner in Nick chat. Nick Wagner. Nick, if you go to Michael's in the paint pen section, mm -hmm. you can buy a really ultra-thin paint pen. That's what I use to ink my dice. They're, they're marvelous. Or, or we can send you another die. We can do that, too, but, you know, um, ink it up, then it'll be custom. All right, what do we need for that? That's yellows? Oh, yeah. the one thing I'm not great at. Oh, never mind. I can do it once. I can do it once. We only need it two more times, you know. I can finish it off then, I think. Okay, well, you, you can do that. Your next end. Oh, I need to move there first, though. Show do. So I will move in. All right. We're going to peek through that keyhole. You never know what you might see. Maybe we'll see a secret entrance to the warehouse. Secret tunnel. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, I don't have any more yellows in my hand. I just realized that, so I'm kind of out of luck here. I Wait, you, you said just you said you could finish, finish it. it. Well, I could if I... Actually, move, we'll use the clock, last clock. All right. And then that will move me there. Right. Now I got one, and now I can pay these, but let me roll my luck die first. All right. Woo! That's four. Five, six. I got you, baby. Lovely. Oh, do I get to keep it? No, I'm just kidding. No, you do not. Uh, 987. This better be good, because 
Look, we're trying, man. We 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 got to do. I'm already happy that we found that that know, little that well. Was, that was pretty. That cool. made my that made my day. Yeah. What what are we at? Nine eighty seven. I'm gonna take a little credit for that. You Is the warden within range four? Nope. That's oh, that's so good that we did that. He's Reveal not. card E. Yes. <gasps> There's the Emmy. Nice. <laughs> Woo, see? Sorry, sorry. That's yeah. what's so fun about this stuff. All right, so now we. Can... It really is. I yeah, love. Yeah. Is that a basketball? Sh Here, show, show this thing. Show them. So look at the keyhole. I don't know what kind of nonsense is happening it's there. And that's it's what we need. That's what, what we need to match with the bird that we had. Yeah. Forever. There's also a die there. Yeah, I guarantee you that 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 reads Acme. That's like a throwback to the old Warner Brothers cartoons. I, I, I'm calling it now. So you got a basketball, right? A die. A crowbar. And a crowbar. Yeah, it might come in handy later on. We'll yeah. find out. Okay. So now we're at 244 immediately. Ooh, that was a good little flip there. So yeah, that meant for us to actually pull that off, we needed to have this Hidden down here, away. which was us exploring that bird. all of this. Yep. That inscription. Wait a moment. Gain story token A. Okay. If you don't find a use for this token until the end of the dream, here. discard it. We need A with the mannequin. Okay, okay, well, that's well, good. Well, can we, oh, we can only do it once? No, no, no you can no, do it there's no, there's no. Oh, but it's another four green each? Yeah. Although, I am sitting on a lot of green, so I might come up and start doing that now. Yeah. Oh, I can't yeah, we move. We have A. I got to move. Sitting on nothing. Story token A. Okay, okay. Uh, that was me who finished that, so Roy, your turn. It actually worked out really well. That, I've that was used. Because cool. if he was close to us, we wouldn't have been able to do that. I can use this. To gain a blue, and then I could use these two blue to put one green on there. Well, I think feature. you have to play at least. Oh no, you can just spend them as greens. Yeah, right. that's true. And then I'd save these cards for the future. These aren't going to help me. How are you spending these for? Oh, it's a it's a it's a rule card I found. You just spend them for two. Oh, that's right, the shining gems. I've been uh, doing that the entire card. game, Mike. Yeah, you yeah. just gain two. You can always do it anytime you want. To gain two, and you don't need to spend a. a that's correct. Okay. Well, I've got. I'm sitting on. Yeah, let's do it. Right Come here. on, let's do it. I, I want to get it started, so yeah. first try. All right, and I don't have cards, so I'll have, we'll have to wait till his turn is over. I can do it on the next turn, maybe. Well, you could always spend all six gems. No, I'm not on that spot, Tom. Yeah, so spend two as yellows. Okay, so spend two as yellows to get over there. And then spend four to put another one on it. Okay, let's do that. That's cool. We're just wasting the resources, but we I'm going to spend two to move up there. And then I have the four green. Beautiful. Boom! Now we all we know we've got the story token A. Here we go. But I'm gonna read the whole thing again. Read anyway. the whole thing yeah. again. <laughs> because the crazy thing is we had to read Wait, it once. We did, had it bring, to did it bring the warden up there? No, no, that was. No, no we don't know. No. That was. It says if we uh, blah blah blah. It's the same okay. thing. We're looking at the dead man can. We had to do this one twice because yeah, okay. the first one got us this card got when we it. didn't have A. Got it. Got it. Got then it. once we had that, we could look through oh, here this, and Roy. get that. You're one. like this. Hey, you the R. Oh, here you are. That's our lead. Discard story token A. Okay. Oh, yes. I knew I could count on you. I smell the enticing scent of chalk. Good luck. We found the chalk. Nice. It's a shame we had to trick him, but you know, it's just a job. Gain story token B. That's one we Boom. need. Boom. That's one we need. I knew the mannequin was important. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we can get in the warehouse. Now we, we have got to survive this dude. Yeah. Five so green. We're all passing, right? Right. Yeah. All right. Okay, so he does his action, doesn't affect, so roll the die. Now, this could be bad. Really bad. Uh, I'll I'm roll not, it. I'm not rolling it. That's oh, bad. that's the best. <laughs> you loser. <laughs> Listen, but he's been teleporting all over the board. So. Again, which he doesn't have. And then we... Okay. Well, we're good. Oh, we're okay. my word. Yes. We're okay. Life we're okay. is good. Okay, we draw back up? Yeah. Let's do Wait, it. what happens when your deck's completely empty? Then you, you reshuffle, reshuffle and take a damage. And you take a wound or you steal some cards, but you'll take a wound. I'll, I'll take, take a wound. wound for sure because you need eight to, before. Now, you. every dream is very different. In some games, you take, wounds. you take wounds. They come up. They're beating you up. Um, in some of them, they, they make you steal cards. This is very much an exploration deduction one very sort much. of thing. That's right, my so favorite of all the dreams. What do we need... Um, what do we need now that we've got story token B? What are the what's the It's intent? five we green. Need five green per player? No. no five, five green. Total? Green. Yeah, can Beautiful. anyone do it? Total. Um one, two, three, four. Let me see here. We have three. two here. Anyone I can use did me? not I, wait a minute, I think if I If anyone has three, we got two on the flashlight. Oh, shoot, I need I needed one more yellow to, to move over there. I, I only we have used two. all of our hours. Well, I mean, we have the die. Oh wait, wait, oh. wait. I have this that can be sealed for I have five. I shoot. Yeah, I yeah, you're good then. Because you also have, can the, walk you also have over this there. too. Okay, I'll spend two to walk. Doot, doot. And I'll spend. Um, this is one. Oh, this I is could do two. it. I could do it for five too. And then this is. I'm gonna seal this for three more. 
and use that, and then that'll be exactly okay, more than enough. He did not need your help, is All what right, I believe that he said. That's fine. 288. Oh, wait. I didn't need six. I needed five. I didn't need to set spin that. Spend what? what did you I didn't need to spin the flashlight. Uh, oh, we didn't. Okay. 288. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, and that electric thing. And then, that okay, thing so we're getting a again. clue here. So we're, 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 we're doing the same thing. Like, let okay. us in. But this All time right. we have B. This time we've got the story. Do we have Stoke and B? Yes. yes. It's a pass. That's what it is. Nice. You may enter. All right. The heavy door of the warehouse is open. Infinite shelves, each endlessly high and wide, contain all sorts of crates, chests, packages, barrels, sacks, and other containers in a variety of shapes and sizes. You see only a small part of it. The rest is hidden in the darkness. If you're playing a new dream, go here. If you're playing an old dream. So new dream means the first time you're doing right, it, which, is, which is what we're doing. So that, it, since it says old dream, means we're going to come back here we're at some point. Back, well, yeah. you won't. I'll come back here. 618. I might, eventually. A month later. Hey, we found it. Our package. <laughs> we rip off the wrap and see a dream dictionary inside. We hope for something more useful than explanations that spiders and ants mean this, and a house with a garden ants. upon means that. It was, it was Game all... card K, mysteries wisdom card. So this oh, is really... It's a new wisdom rule card, yeah. Okay, look at this. Let's put it up there. This is a really cool... So this is a new rule card. It says, once per dream, if we're ever in a space that shows oh, any that of those, we can really spend five cool. green to read something. So we go back really to the bird? Cool. Go back to the bird. That's why there's no thing on it. That's pretty neat. But we would have to come back in another dream, probably. I think this we may be done here. There's also a map. Gain tile 239i. That's a... That's a, a we, we got a new tile that tells us where another dream is. A new is. dream tile, yeah. Another thing, a small blue device. It's solid besides a small button in the label, Delta Phase Regulator. So here, we, we'll, we'll take another blank token, and we'd write button 690 on it, and anytime we can, we can press this button oh. and read 690. <laughs> That's great. Anytime. All right, so we've got the folded up guy. And, and we won. Nice. So each dreamer gains one. We would each get one of these white tokens, which is kind of money that you use to spend new cards. Yeah, maybe we'll go off of this card here. And then we could either heal two or unseal two cards. Because, again, our decks stay the same as you go oh, through. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, I was kind of haphazardly sealing. And then we would gain <laughs> some more cards, which I'm not going to show you. Um, some shopping cards would come back. All the story tokens we gained in this dream are gone. We go out of the dreamscape. We go back, we, we remove back, it, blah, blah, blah. Map, we yeah. get the return to Foggy Docks Dream Gate tile, so we could come back to that later. And um, we're back in the dream world, yeah, basically. Back to the dream world Back map. here. So I said we wouldn't finish it, but but we did. That was fun, man. I <laughs> that really, was awesome. really liked that dream. That was a good one. That now, was I mean, a good dream. We, I don't know what... We'll, I'm assuming like the stuff that we didn't see might pertain to the... The follow-up. It could, yeah. The right? time like to come back. When we come back and stuff. Yeah. So that's kind of neat. It's an interesting it's an interesting concept. This one had much more of the look around the maps, look look and find stuff than other dreams I've played. I really thought that was cool. But now I want to push know, the find button. The little, you know, find the I know. Thing. I want to push the button, too. I know. <laughs> My finger is on But I'll tell you what. That new rule card where you can find stuff. Oh, I love that's this great. stuff. That's that great. plus yeah. those tokens. Right. So And, and I, I noticed during the... Opening up the game, they, they 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 specifically called those blank tokens as a as a component. So I was like, all right. Normally you would throw that stuff away and think, oh, they're just filling up space on the punch board. But he, you never would do that in a game like this, right? I knew they were going to be for something, but you might have thrown them away, Tom. Oops. You could just use any piece of cardboard. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you could just okay. use any piece. Post the um, notes. Yeah. Right. Right. I also wanted this to mark down that for once. We on a live stream, well. we won a cooperative yeah. game. <laughs> and I think we, we, did, we pulled off the, that one turn where we sh moved him down. That all had to work perfectly, and we didn't know it. It just We were able to move him four away. We got the things we needed. We, it was I mean, really a good running turn. down here and exploring the ship was actually important because right. we needed the bird to finish this thing. Yep. And exploring all the ship put this out here. Right. That's true. So, and then also, exploring him for a false thing got the case suspended. That's right. Then we had to explore this. Or right. explore the keyhole. Then we had to go back and explore the dummy a second time. Right. So there's a whole bunch of things in there that and, and, um, happened. And we're assuming that's the only way it could have worked. Where probably uh -huh. that's not the only way it could have worked. Do you know what I mean? Like that was yeah. we that was one way. So I really, I still really like this game. Yes. I know. I there know are that some rule book issues. There are some ambiguities. 
that you find in, in quite honestly, a lot of the Awakening crazy Realm experience games. But I'll tell you what, experience is worth it to me. I, I've been joking about it slightly, but I found that I do better in this game if I do what I just did in this game, where just, just spend it all. Stuff. Just, just do stuff. Just spend it all. Yep. Like my abilities, flip cards, right? To re-roll the dice, roll the dice. Yes, right. it could it could bust you, but you've whatever. got gems, spend them. Yeah, do what yeah. you can do. Now, right? granted, I'll probably later on be like, man, I wish I had a gem, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you can find gems in the dream world, and it, it, that's, there's other things you can do. So Awesome. All right, folks, thanks for watching. So we will now be off air for an hour, and at noon, we'll be back. Z Garcia will be back at noon playing Trekking the World, and then you'll see the top ten from Randy and Ellen. And then at 3 o'clock, ho, 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 top ten co-ops of the year. Ooh. We'll be playing Fossilus Live. Roy's going through his top 10 Marvel Champions heroes. Boom! You're going to see a redone version of our Twilight Imperium 4 playthrough that we yeah. played with Bonacore. <laughs> then Mark's top 10, Jordan's top 10, Mike's top 10 solo games. Then we're going to say goodbye. And then finally, my favorite thing that we did, yeah. actually, our best moments of 2020 are funniest things. Yeah. So we'll be online probably till 7 tonight or close to that time. So... Big day to close out this fantastic also, winter spectacular. Also, we will be taking some of these top ten lists and shooting them out separately later yeah. on so that they're easier to find. But we'll see you at noon. Until then, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Mike Delicio. And I'm Roy Kennedy. Have fun. Stopping mysteries. Dreaming. Okay, that too. It's a dream. And that's I it. I, 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 know I didn't switch. switch. I don't like you. Oh, are we still live? We had to reveal card 46 to do that, Roy. What? <laughs> it was supposed to just switch. Okay, crazy. Um, five.